Is there a Devin Blackberry? Uh, the De Devin. Hey, yeah, that's. Can cool. you can you step into my office, please? Okay. Hey, how's it going? Have, have a seat. Huh? Okay. Uh, Devin, how long have you been running IT for us here at DARPA? I started today. At DARPA? Oh, I, I mean at, at DARPA as a whole, probably ten years. Ten years. So you know the rules here. You've been around long enough to know the rules. Yeah. Okay, see, someone else that works in your department um, flagged something for us. Now, I'm not going to name names, but we know you've been snooping around. <laughs> snooping around? I mean, what? <laughs> I'd never. I mean, Devin, I'm that's a federal offense. Uh, yeah. This is a government organization. You do not have access Oh, okay. To those servers. Do you have proof of me snooping, or yes. is this just okay? Oh. Here is a log of the last three times you logged in to our server. All right, maybe it was. So, do you know the rules? Y yes, I'm. A, I'm aware. Of the, I'm aware of the rules. I mean, look, there's creepy stuff going on here, and if we're talking about rules and laws, I mean, look, I know something's up. We are a department of the government that wakes, makes weapons for defense. So when you say you know something's up, or there's something creepy going on here, what, what kind of hyperbole exactly are you participating in? I'm just saying, I feel like there's something more than weapons defense going on. That's, that's what I'm saying. And you know... Uh, Devin, you are, you are IT. Yeah. You have the lowest level of clearance in this building. Hmm. I mean, honestly, you are almost an outside employee. Technically, we're not allowed to do that, though. So you do work for us. And this is a federal offense. Now, and as he says that, his phone begins to ring. One moment. Yes. Excuse me. Under what if... Understood. Devin. Yes? You were to report to Iowa City. You will be sent all information what? that you will need. It will be available to you at your house tonight. You have four days to move. Just gotta uproot everything and move? Yes. Your option, if you do not choose to comply to this demand, is jail time. Whatever happened to due process? I don't you know. I, you're being you transferred to a new department. Okay. I would say you're getting off quite easy considering. Look, I'm gonna take this Iowa deal, but I'm saying it just my name on a paper ain't much. I mean, somebody could log in on my account, but I'm going to Iowa. Not saying I did it, but I'm going to Iowa. That's just names on a paper. Just send me the information. The information will be available to you at your house tonight. Get out. Get the fuck out of my office. All right. Well, get the fuck out of my life. See you in Iowa. Always want to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> As. You uh, arrived at your house tonight. There was a envelope under under your front door of your apartment um, that was instructing you to go to the University of Iowa. An apartment has been established for you. The address and the keys are in the envelope. Four days from now, you are to meet up at a location known as Teaspoons. The only instruction on the piece of paper was to check in at Teaspoons Coffee Shop on campus and await further instructions. We now kind of flash forward four days. You've moved in. They've given you a small but you know, fairly humble apartment, but it's very clear that you're up for some sort of pay raise because it's a little bit nicer than your last uh, your last digs up in Arlington. So you're on campus. University of Iowa. Where do you, where do you head? Um, well, I mean, I guess I'll go straight to this Teaspoons place. I want 
want to get this over with and see what this is all about. Okay. You make your way inside Teaspoons. And there's just a couple people. It's a very small coffee shop. You don't notice anyone out of the ordinary when you walk in. It just seems like a normal coffee shop. Uh, hello. Can I... Uh, what do you what, what do you want? Just the coffee. Is that is that a weird thing? Is it? I'll get an americano medium. Okay. And your name? Uh Devin. Devin. Devin Blackberry. Okay. It'll be at the end of the counter. All right. As you walk towards the end of the counter, you notice the individual kind of giving you side eye as you walk over. <laughs> And it keeps looking at you as he operates the espresso machine. Everyone else in the shop has kind of vacated. You didn't even realize this happening, but the shop's now empty. Did I catch y'all before closing or something? Is that why you all mad over there looking at me? Here's your coffee. All right, don't do that fake stuff. You might as well be real with me. When you grab the cup, you notice on the cup, in pen is written, Pentacrest, Schaefer Hall Janitor's Closet. All right. Uh, hey, I'm kind of new around this area. Do you know where uh, I can find this Pentacrest place? Uh, you know, I'm trying to find Pentacrest. When you look up from the coffee cup, there's no longer anyone standing there, and the coffee shop's completely empty. What kind of snacks they got? <laughs> <laughs> Typical coffee shop snacks. There's some uh, healthy granola bars at the counter. All right, like I look around and I grab like two or three granola bars and head to head to the nearest kind of like campus map, try and find out where Pentacrest okay. is. You see the Pentacrest is at the center. Uh, it's technically the old, like the old city hall, uh, directly center of campus, and it's kind of a square. Schaefer Hall is one of the buildings on that square. It's a very nice day today. Um, you know, it's the summer months, so the, qu the campus is very quiet. Not many people around. Seems like a very big school. Where did you go to college, Devin? Uh, actually, uh... Went to uh, Steam, you might have heard of it, called uh, DeVry. Uh, you know, that's where I pretty much got all my certifications to become an IT guy, you know. Okay, great. So, do you head towards Schaefer Hall? Yeah, I'll head towards uh, Schaefer Hall. Um, when you walk into Schaefer Hall, you're kind of wandering the bottom hallways until you find this janitor's closet. It's just literally has a sign on it that says janitor's closet okay uh, i'll open it up okay so you open the door to look inside you don't notice anything out of the ordinary there's a mop some shelving with cleaning supplies on it but you do notice when you look down two kind of we'll say clean spots on the floor that look like where people's feet have stand numerous times over and over again facing a certain direction. And what's directly in front of it? Nothing but shelves. I, I, I like try looking in between the shelves. Either. So you step into the room? As you step in, the door closes behind you and you hear it automatically lock. Oh, come on! The lights are off and you're sitting in darkness. All right, is this some kind of like new guy hazing ritual or all that? Like, if you think you're gonna jump me, I got a hot coffee. Hello, please state your name and your business. Devin Blackberry, a coffee cup told me to come here. Do you acknowledge that any and all rights that apply to you as a United States citizen are null and void if you continue? What? <laughs> Thank you. And you feel the ground underneath you shift? as you feel yourself lowering as the entire closet is moving down into the earth. It's a long ride. Oh, man. 
So I pull out a notepad and go, Janitors are Mole Man Conspiracy <laughs> Revisit. <clears throat> You feel the janitor's closet finally come to a stop as you feel yourself kind of the weight regather. It seems like you were going down for a long period of time, but it's hard for you to understand given how old it all sounded, if it was just the speed at which you were moving or if you were actually very deep underground. The doors open, revealing a giant silver wall in front of you. On this wall is a very large painted logo. On this logo, is the outline of a red shield, and inside of it is what looks to be the head of an octopus, but with six eyes, its legs kind of sprawling out from the sides, and a C directly in the middle between its legs. To the left of that octopus, you see an old wooden door. Hello? Anybody down here? You say this from inside the janitor's closet. You have 20 seconds to leave the elevator. Or? Or the elevator will go back up. Okay, I guess I'll step out and see what's... As you step out, you hear ding! As the doors close, and you, you hear this like sound of rattling as it goes up, and as you can, the shaft is just open when it leaves. There's no doors that close. The gearing on the inside looks extremely old and rusted. Okay, I guess I'll walk up to the wooden door and knock on it. You three hear a knock. Who could possibly be here? Uh, uh, I have no idea. We're not supposed to order delivery here. I didn't do it. Come on right? in. Somebody. You hear someone yell for you to come in. Uh, do you go ahead and open the door? Uh, Devin. Devin. Iffy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're Devin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Do you, uh, they asked for you to come in. Do you go in? Come on in. Yeah, yeah come oh, on in, man. Hey, how's it going? So you open the door as you say this and you walk in. You're kind of taken aback as you see on the left just a long kind of 50-yard run of books, memorabilia, things in glass cases. On the right side of the wall, you see maps, posters, printouts with red thread connecting a bunch of things. And directly in the center of this room, lowered down inside two steps, kind of a bullpen area, you see six desks, five of them occupied all five of those individuals staring back at you. At the end of this bullpen area, raised back up on the opposite side, you see an office along the back wall with the blinds kind of open where you can see an individual kind of pacing back and forth, looking as if they were talking to someone on the phone. Yo, dude, who are you? Uh, I don't don't know. A cup told me to come into a janitor's closet, and then I came here. The door Uh, closes behind you, kind of pushing you in further as you hear it lock behind you. Does everything lock by itself here? Should we call security? Yeah, Uh, are you lost, sir? But I mean, (laughs) yeah, I mean, uh, the elevator wouldn't have let him in if he wasn't supposed to be here. One what is your in, name? One of the other individuals in the room with a very long beard, an old individual, kind of s- stands up. Obviously, this is... The new guy. Esma's replacement. What? They're replacing they replacing Esma. Oh, so they finally just went and did that, huh? That's devastating. That's cold, man. Who is Esma? <laughs> what well, what this am guy I must be with something, right? I mean, to replace... The woman, clo- the woman closest to you stands up, puts out her arm. Hi, Marla. Hey, Devin. How you doing? Combat expert. Oh, cool. Um, I'm an IT guy. I only know how to fix printers. So all this, you know, high tech stuff. Whoa, we whoa, don't whoa. really. They, we don't. they replaced Ismay with just an IT guy. Maybe he's not actually a replacement. Maybe he's here to fix something. I mean, are we. You? Yeah, man. Are you here to fix something then? Because. Then, uh, uh, what? That's got to be the only experience. We know Director Bunny doesn't even know how to operate his phone properly, so... 
Yeah, exam. what are your qualifications? Uh, you've been an IT guy for 10 years, went to DeVry, uh, you know, you know how to- DeVry? Get, yeah, DeVry University. Yeah, like, I've seen those commercials, man. I got some cousins that go there. Yeah. It's a good place. Yeah. Um, you know, I, you know, allegedly, I was snooping uh, at, at, you know, in Arlington, and you they, got curious. They, were you snooping? Or allegedly. What were you looking for? Uh, you know, I just feel like you know this this DARPA company. They're up to something. There's they're up to some stuff. You know, it's not just web defense weapons. It's creepy, spooky stuff. And I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, uh, which makes it makes them an even bigger, uh, you know, target when they're. You just hear from the back, Devin. Hey, Devin. Hey, hello. Yeah. Uh, every, everyone, this is Devin. Hello, Devin. Hey, Devin. Hey. Um, you gonna fix something or? <clears throat> no, no, no. Uh, De Devin's. He he. The replacement. He'll be taking Esme's desk. What? What? Well, I really Wait. want to continue. Uh, to Wait, try. man. He's gonna take Esme's desk. Le I mean... Leaving her desk open won't bring her back. We needed some help on this one, so. You know, Devin, c come into my office. Come on. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Did you know anything about this? He's just IT. No, I had no, He's I just had IT. no clue, man. Just hey, IT. Hey, da Damien, why don't you clean off Esma's desk oh, for it? Her pictures are so... It's, it's I'll creepy. hold on to her pictures. Wait, De Devin, come on. As the door closes, just... I'll make have a, a shrine. Have a seat. Yeah. As you come in to his office, this room looks like a room 50 years from the past it's there is not a computer in sight uh handwritten notes are spread out everywhere along his desk there's an old corded phone green sitting on his desk the logo is repeated again on the back wall outside of that is walls and shelves of books going almost all the way around the entire room different pedestals with glass uh encasings inside of them is things that you can't really recognize at first glance as he's motioned for you to kind of sit down and a couch as he's got two couches facing each other. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Devin, have a, have a seat. Uh, okay, cool. I got like two, two questions <clears throat> off rip just for you. Oh, okay. Uh, first question. What, what was, what did Esma do? What, what, what was her drop job title? What am I replacing? Well, she was one of our agents. She a died in the field. Okay, that answers question number two. She was run over by an FBI. She was undercover. Um, do you know why you're here today? No, no. All okay. All do, you, do you do you, do you know what we are? No. Good. That's that's actually great. I don't know anything. All I remember is being accused Look, by my last boss. Got sent to Iowa. Got told to come to a coffee shop. Yeah, that, got I, I, I called. Up. I called. I called. I saw you snooping around. Well, I didn't see you. I got notified. I got notified. I got. I still have some friends. I have some some higher up. I, I have some friends. They notified me. They told me you. And I thought that I need someone like that. I need someone like you. So you welcome. You our newest member of Department C. Okay. It's not not optional. Yeah, I figured that part out. It's just we we need someone with your tech skills around here to like help us kind of you know it's a I guess it's 18 years past the new millennium, but there's there's a lot of stuff, a lot of things. I'm not really versed in those things, and uh, as you can tell, I'm sure. Yeah, what is Department C? What? What are, you, what, what, what are you guys doing? Okay, well, before we go any further, uh, keep in mind, anything and everything that we learn, share, uh, here cannot be shared with anyone outside of this office. Oh, okay. Anyone, not, not even the president. Okay, Lord knows we don't want Russia's hand on the shit that we know. Yeah. So, if any information is leaked and traceable back to you, I will be forced to end your life. Okay. If that's clear, we can proceed. Yeah, I guess it's clear. Okay. Uh, Department C is a uh, security defense um, organization for all things occult. What? 
<clears throat> supernatural. Yeah, uh, no, I got what you meant when you said a cult. A anything just, that can't be explained by science yeah. that we currently can't understand. Look, on the boards we've been talking about this, we've said there's been a governmental department. You know, a lot of the weebs were saying it was like Witch Hunter Robin. I was like, nah, man, this is way deeper than this. It's more probably like something like Men in Black. So to, to have I like I like that reference. I always assume I'm, I'm kind of like Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, so am I Will Smith in this? I didn't mean that. That's not what I was trying uh, to say. No, no, no. no I, I, it's not. fine. I want to be Will Smith in this. Okay, cool, great. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we're not really that glamorous, though. I mean, <laughs> we don't, there's not really. Okay, well, you know, I, I, I'm just going to run one thing about uh, r right by you since it seems like you're the expert on this. Uh, is there a janitor, moleman? community of sorts is this is this how you got this tech or did you guys build it <laughs> so we were established by dwight d eisenhower in 1960 okay, okay. um you know to, to develop supernatural weaponry uh in response to germany's advancements in the cult in the occult in world war ii i mean eisenhower was he was all into that he was all over that shit he wasn't really into it but he, he got first-hand knowledge well like like good boy he 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 knew we needed to start investing in defense like the Germans did. Uh, Dwighty personally found documentation on Hitler's device to channel his demonic mana to be the mouthpiece of the gods of old. Does any of that make sense? Okay, wait, anyway, that dickhead figured out a way, basically, to control the minds of others, tapping into their darkest desires, unleashing it on a mass scale. Using, uh, actually, the, uh, this. This right here, actually. That's exactly how he did it. Um, can you believe it? I mean, I, it, not really this. It's, uh... It, well, some part of this. Okay, what it, whatever whatever this was, uh, is, was... Um, it was given to their ally, Japan, when uh, he knew that, you know, hope for world domination was lost... And uh, thanks to the good old U.S. of A. So is this like a, like a pre-planned presentation, or you just keep that weird thing in your desk at all times, just for no reason? Oh, you'll learn about this in the briefing today. Uh, we've got a mission, actually. But uh, Oh, you could put it away. There's no reason to just have it staring at me on the <laughs> desk. No, you're probably right. You haven't killed anyone, have you? No. It's susceptible to people who've committed atrocities. Any dark secret, you know, whatever. Um, <clears throat> you know, Japan took whatever it was Hitler gave them, and they put it inside that thing. Uh, they attempted to infiltrate the United States with it and do mind control on a mass scale through toys, actually. But Eisenhower, he stopped it. And uh, through that, we kind of got us. We realized that we were a little bit behind the times when it comes to supernatural defense and we, we need to up our game a little bit to make sure that we don't get taken advantage of like that again. I mean, Hitler, he controlled so many people with that. But, you know, if, if Dwighty hadn't stopped him, the country may not be even as we know it today. It's, it's, it's wild to think about, you know. It's crazy. Yeah. But anyway, we, we, we've spent years working on weaponry, uh, defense, that, that in theory, in theory could be used by the U.S. government. Um, more often than not, we see ourselves as a deterrent to keep other people for getting access to the knowledge and weaponry that we acquire or artifacts. Do you, um, is, is, is there is there a kind of, I don't know, a, like a Dropbox or Google Drive with all the archives? Because, I mean, I can, I'll, I'll sit through and read all of that myself. Uh, it's all these books. Books. Do, do, are you volunteering to digitize these? Because we have talked about that. Yeah, you, you got it. Because if this place Great. catches I, on I, fire no, I'll put that on. Reason, I'll put that on your action list. Digitize books. Thank you. That, you know, that's a team player right there coming in first day and volunteering at least two years of I your mean, life I like that. I wasn't, but okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But, uh, you know, so far, <clears throat> we haven't really created any weapons of supernatural design, you know. Um, you know te technically, God, God bless her, Roy out there, she's the only one who's created anything of any substantial value that we get to use on a daily basis that's quite secret, but... Outside of that, uh, we, we haven't really made anything yet, but we're close. I think we're close. I think we're on the verge of some breakthroughs, and it'll be an exciting day. But, 
You know, we, we can't build something if we don't even know it exists or how it could function. This is the problem with our agency. We have to research and get as much info as possible to properly assess how we could move forward. And then let it be clear, we're not here to create world killers. You know, we're, we're trying to keep other people from doing it. That sounds exactly like something that someone who is trying to do that would say. I mean, isn't probably the best way of handling it is destroying these things of the occult that we find? Uh, we do a lot. Okay. A, a lot. If it's safe to destroy, a lot of them, uh, we've learned, can be quite dangerous if you try to destroy them. Or at least we believe them to be. It's hard to explain some of the things we've seen. Well, it seems <clears> like <throat> your morals check out, and it seems like I don't have a choice, so... You keep mentioning a mission, so I'm gonna be out in the field, because really I'm real good behind well, you the know, computer. Just like if it's not, you know, Counter Strike or Rainbow Six, I'm just no remember good with like it, it, we're more of a re okay. So the last president knew about us was Reagan. Uh, he he had a flair for the dramatic and all, and he shifted us around a little bit to kind of be all around occult research, not just uh, weaponry for DARPA. I had DARPA doesn't even really know we exist anymore, but. Uh, I, uh, we're, we're technically a protected and secretly funded organization, and we will remain active even without supervision. You know, it's, it's, it's rumored, basically, that Reagan hid the secret passcodes to contact us on my phone here and then <laughs> forgot where he put them. Wow. That, that was a Reagan joke. It's not a very good one. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but really, it was, uh, <clears throat> we, we've had 30 years now of unsupervised operation, uh, you know, fine by me. Uh, there's a couple generals that know of our existence that I'm in direct contact with and that uh, keep the checks flowing. A any more questions? Uh, I mean, all right, so I clock in here every day and then I go back to my apartment and... His phone rings and it's an old, like, ring, ring, like an old, like you can tell there's a yeah. bell. <laughs> he said, ah. Larianza, what's up? You, not, uh, you better not be using this line for more Satan's lettuce. I told you I can't get any... Uh, yeah, yeah, head out front. Uh, we have a briefing in a bit. Get comfortable at your new desk. Uh, say that again. Uh, one bullshit. One, bullshit. One last question. No, fuck you. No, that's bullshit. No, get, 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 get out. Okay. <laughs> I'm on the phone. All right. Bye. No, okay. Tell right. uh, As you exit the room and close the door... The rest of the bullpen is just standing and looking at you. Hey, everybody. Hey. Hey, man, there's your desk. Uh, I'm going to Ismael's old desk. Yeah, like uh, Damien uh, cleared some of the desk off for you. You say you're an IT guy? So you yeah. like uh, yeah. electronics and stuff? You're a hacker and everything? A, l a little bit. That's how I got in this predicament. I guess I'll come clean since we're going to be close. Look, I know it, I can never fill Esma's uh, shoes. I, I had a situation, too. There was a guy, Bruce, who I really liked, and then he kind of got caught, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, watching hentai at work, and so they had to fire <laughs> oh, no. him. And so, like, a new guy came what's, in. He was trying to be um, our friend. Excuse me. What's... What's hentai? Asked the combat <laughs> expert. Oh, it's an art form uh, th that primarily used, uh, like, you know, anime. She takes out her phone. Oh, uh, I wouldn't. Ma I Marla, wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, I've seen that yeah. before. Yeah. 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 That's what that is. So he got fired for that. New guy came in. It's kind of like our logo with all the tentacles. Yeah, yeah it's very yeah. similar. It's a, there's a lot of that. I mean, there's something for everybody. Do you think this has a, uh, does this correlate with your research at all? I wouldn't know anything about that, um, but maybe we can talk later in private. Yeah, I mean, you guys obviously have different uh, HR uh, you know, rules around here. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what it is, and he got kicked out and a new guy tried to come in be a hot shot friends with everybody <laughs> but we all knew he was sucking up so we could try and move up to the company so uh, basically what i'm trying to say is i'm not going to do that you know I'll, y you know i'm just here for whatever you need oh. i'm not going to try and be anything what, what exactly are you gonna what are you gonna do says the guy with the beard who's kind of leaned back in his chair 
Well, unfortunately, it seemed like I'm going to be digitizing all the books that your archives are on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good. Uh, oh man. Yeah. I can't believe Director Bunny, like, talked you into that. Yeah, he tried no. to talk me into that. I was like, no. Yeah. It's like, there's no way. Time. I mean, if this if a just, fire breaks many. out or a flood or, you know, the sprinklers go off, that's Look all Look around all this place. Like, everything from here is, like, from 1950s or yeah. something like that. You know, there's, there's, I haven't bothered. Oh, hey, I'm Roya. By the oh, way, I'm Roya hey, Paley. Hey, Roya I'm a tech Devin. person, you know, um, kind of a tech prodigy no. and stuff. She's a genius. I'm an inventor mostly. Okay. Um, yeah, she's very smart. She made our teleportation device. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, That's yeah. No, actually, um, I first had a. Hold up, like, hold up, hold up, hold up. That was a test. You. Do you know about our teleportation device? Oh, yeah. No, I was just going to say, I've kind of figured out why all that department C stuff just kind of hit a wall it's because you don't have anything in the computers it's all analog uh, hold here. on but the fact that we have a teleportation device didn't that didn't just blow your mind i mean i just rode a janitor's closet underground uh, i figured you guys have everything i i would have been surprised if you didn't have a teleport to be honest it's well that's uh, all we have so <laughs> Well, hey, it was, uh, well, like, originally, when my first version of it, I was, like, 15, I did it for a science fair, right? And then it, like, went viral, and then all of a sudden, you know, here comes, a, you know, Department C. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah, yeah it was me. Like my hair was different, though. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was, uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. And I just basically been, you know, refining that and, you know, trying to find the next, the next big thing, you know. But I'm not really good with all of the... Um, the IT stuff, yeah. like you do, like hacker stuff, like I can, I can, you know, have an idea and put stuff together. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But you know, that whole thing with like <laughs> digitizing this, or yeah. you know, going into uh, yeah. like backlogs of systems and stuff. Nah, that's not me. Yeah, no, I know some light hacking stuff, breaking through firewalls and stuff like that, and kind of carrying my tablet around to kind of like uh, live hack into some security systems but my source that, uh, my source said you were looking for us you technically hacked into DARPA that's a government server that's pretty impressive yeah but uh, like I said y'all being analog kind of prevented me from hacking which almost pointing that out makes me think maybe we shouldn't digitize this stuff just in case you get it's someone a, as good as me. It's a very good point. Yeah. Oh, you're trying to get out of work. 100%. Uh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, man, that would be like, what, two to four years just trying to digitize it's all this stuff. Papers. That's one bookcase two to four years. Well, you know that's not the only thing you're going to be doing, right? Uh, just so you know, man, Ismay was uh, pretty hardcore out in the field. Now, what's your specialty besides IT? Like, what can you do when we bring you out? What are your qualifications? Yeah, she was a badass right. for real. Yeah. So, I mean, like, nice basically, team. you are her replacement. Yeah, uh, she so was like a tank. Know, so what's up? I mean, With I'm really good at being a lookout. Like, you know, if you guys, you know, going into some stuff, I can, like, you know, come up with a custom bird call. I mean, for real, for real. I mean, like, this was cool. I like the hentai joke. It's fun. But, like, for real now, like, are we out in the field? What's up? I look. You know, he doesn't have any. Yeah. Field training. So he just hired him. The boss just hired he's, him just to digitize this. Did, did you not really read the file? I, none of you did. You didn't know he was coming today. No. No. This guy's. He's just IT at DARPA. What was? No, he was, well, he like was literally just IT. Like that's it. There's like nothing when you turn over like on page six or something. You know. Not that I could find. He's lived a lonely existence. He has no family. He's got no no relationship. No. Ismay uh, with. So you telling me that they have this just basic IT guy that's going to come in to replace badass Isme? I mean, y'all, I'm still standing here. Uh, you so must have just, some sort there, of there's that. special skills or talent for Dr. So I mean, like, man. Andy's holding, got the supernatural back. stuff. <laughs> yeah. Damien, you know, he's like, he's got all his field expertise I mean, and stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, if you're holding back, this is the time now. <laughs> no, I mean, there's got to be there's got to be something else, like you're an onion with layers and no, stuff. No, I'm literally just an IT guy who was transferred here. I, Look, I, we, I, all, we all know he's here because Director Bunny doesn't know how to turn on the computer, and that seems like magic I mean, to him. Perhaps he has unrealized powers. I, uh, you got his attention. That's all it took.
Look, I, I didn't choose this. So, look, I can see if I lied on the resume and got this job, y'all could be mad at me and all that. But, look, they literally forced me to either come here or go to jail. So, I came here. That sounds very similar to my story. Oh, really? Yeah, I had a website, and then I had a knock at my door, and now I'm here. Many years later. I mean, we're all, honestly, outcasts one way or another. You can't really take a job like this with family. Well, you didn't have time to do all the research if you have a family to take care of. Well, it's, it's secret. We can't tell anyone. Oh. Yeah, that can be the most difficult thing. Because then even if you do have a family, you got to be that, that one that made it and got out of touch with everybody. Now they're too big to come home kind of a thing when it's just like you're just trying to protect them. You know, I'm pretty so. sure my parents think I'm dead. Yeah. I, uh... You know that... You guys gotta start reading the files more often. I you mean, honestly... That was... I was on that assignment. Your parents do think you're dead. I, oh. We staged that. You're, we had to get rid of any trace of... I thought I could go home once I finished. Oh, okay. Well, that's devastating. You got, you got to read. You got to read. Wait. There's a lot of files, man. Yeah, if you made I them mean, more maybe if you maybe if you made some of the files red or something. Put some pictures in it. Look, we're no. all supposed to share file duties. We're not like this. Isn't, this doesn't just fall on me because I'm research and development. Like that doesn't mean I'm the only person that reads the logs. Well, you know, everybody's a cog in the wheel and everything. You got to make sure that your cog's all straight so that the, the wheel rolls. So, yeah, you, got you know, I, so I do I do my stuff. You want me to trick out your smartphone? Well, I can do that me, just like I did with mine. When this guy digitizes, he can fill us in because I'm not much of a reader myself. So he can be out. Is there oh, some I've type of employee of handbook I can read to get, you It's know, on the shelf somewhere. You just have to find the, it. It's all, man. You got, I, I've personally read all of these. Yeah. Now, granted, I've been here a while, so I've had time. Yeah, it's... it's, it's that's the second thing, the time around. How old is uh, is it Commander Bunny? He seems like he... Him and I came in together. And when did you come in? 70s. All right, it sounds like y'all might have came in from the 50s, to be honest. That's an observation. Yeah. So, Jesse, what's... um. If you Yeah, you know Bunny. Like, what's what's the deal? Like, really, what's the deal with the, this guy? There, the, I, like, I'm... Is he really just here to digitize this? Is that the only reason? I mean, look, what were you like he's smarter in, in, than that. I, I in, know that. But Marla, Marla kind of stands up. She's like, look, guys, obviously, if he's here, he's going to have to be a part of the team. Uh, Devin, I will train you and whatever I can. We won't have much time. We're supposed to be heading out on a mission tomorrow, but I will train you as much as I possibly can to get you ready for the field and any combat expertise you might need. I, I will do that for you. Um... I'm sure you have knowledge to share. Uh, I, I trust Director Bunny knows more than he's letting on. He always does. Okay. There's got to be something else here than just what we're seeing in front of us. I understand that this looks oh. pathetic, but there's got to be more. Once again, so, standing right here. So you know, I can, y'all can, y'all can send me so on a coffee like run carrying and have this conversation. Till then. Y'all can send me on a coffee run. I'd love to do that and not hear this. I already have some coffee. <laughs> we got coffee. But thank you for the oh, offer. Okay, it's nice cool. of you. All right. Maybe we can get coffee later. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'd appreciate that because they used to try to send me on the coffee runs. And I'm like, just because I'm the youngest here doesn't mean that I should be the one that's, you know, having to run to teaspoons all the time. You're just so spry. <sighs> I just, we went from Ismay, uh, I don't know. I Marla, Marla, who is now no longer the newest recruit. <clears throat> By the way, Devin. Did he do that whole thing at Teaspoons where he had them all clear out? Yeah, what was that all about? He likes to create an air and like he likes mystery. He could have just told me to show up at the janitor's column. Well, no, he that's that's mystery enough. Well, I understand that you can't leave a trail of breadcrumbs, but he he gives like each of the people working there a couple dollars to play games with. <laughs> just don't don't look too deep into it. I I, I had to do I had to go through the same thing. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, all right. And I'm and I'm glad you're here. Thanks. That means a lot. Yeah. 
All right, everyone. Um, <clears throat> let's uh, let's catch everyone up to speed, okay? As he comes out of his office and heads towards the wall, uh, kind of when you entered on the right side, all the maps and everything. You know, we we have a lot to cover, especially for the new blood here. Um, you know what? <laughs> Just for fun, Andy. Um, sure. Let's have some fun with this. Tell us what you, we believe you to believe to know about Cthulhu. Oh. <laughs> well, first of all, you mispronounced his name, but I'll forgive you. It is very difficult to say his name correctly, as it is written in an alien language. Let me just find my notes here. Well, Cthulhu is an ancient <laughs> entity that lives in the deep sea. It's currently said to be slumbering sleep but ancient cults all over yeah, the bullshit world. but that's neither that's neither here nor there continue continue well there are some ancient cults all over the world that still worship him and are trying to bring him back they say if you look upon him you go insane so those cults are no different than Scientologists they're just led astray by a good author like, I, know, I, I I know I like yeah I, yeah. I agree I you agree. know what actually I completely agree with that because there's always a scientific explanation no matter what it that's is what now that's, See, exactly are also, there usually also bullshit is, there but, usually is a logical scientific explanation for things but some things remain unexplained and that's what's fascinating Nah, that's just like when people are like, oh, magic is magic. And it's like, no, magic is science. Yeah. You know, I saw that movie. I saw Thor. <laughs> it's just like that same thing. What about the bloop? Yeah, what? Was it what? Yeah. The, the bloop that was heard in the underwater. It was a loud bloop noise made that's by... That's just a fish fart. Would be a very there could have been anything fish. from, like, yeah. resonations happening within, like, uh, you know, on the Arctic plane. I mean, to, to, like, everything else that could have happened with that. Just because we can't explain it right now does not mean that there isn't a scientific explanation for yeah, that. That's all just, I'm saying. We're just going to ignore all the fish in the sea and jump to Cthulhu or Cthulhu, you know, like. It was a good effort. You know, look, there's lots of fish. There's lots of big fish. Have you seen fish on under the deep deep sea they look like monsters you know yeah like krakens like yeah. they've got like gigantic size and and then some that they haven't even seen but they saw like the sucker size on the bottoms of whales so they're like giant squid we're getting oh, off exactly. track. what's the point we we hunting cthulhu now or what the point is continue well it's only rumor that he's real but it's there have been some things happening lately and rumors spreading around that it's possible maybe he is real, and should he actually be awakened, well, we would all be doomed. So I have reason to believe that Thulu, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. That's fine. Is not some demonic creature from hell. Okay? I Outside agree Outside of the you. construct of hell that, you know, we know to exist in our minds and how we perceive it. As you all know, Except for you, obviously. Department C has a record of what we believe eight actual supernatural occurrences and or artifacts that we have documentation of. I'm going to go ahead and skip to the most relevant and, uh, you know, to modern times and, you know, what this meeting's about today. The rest you can research on your own time, and I, I expect you to. It's your responsibility. Oh, well, you better believe I'm going to be so deep in these books. I have I'm some. look like a letter. <laughs> okay. Wow, that was really clever. I so, have some books you can borrow also. Supernatural... Unexplained occurrences have been on the rise as of recently, and I believe they're linked. As he says this, he pulls down a projector screen and fires up the old projector. Uh, right, Y'all gotta slideshow. get a PowerPoint. No. Y'all gotta. I'm sorry. No, when no. I start here, we get in the PowerPoint. We get in the PowerPoint after this mission. No, I love it when he does this. It's no, like you, this is like no. straight X Files right now. This is how right fire starts. So good. You know have you seen, have you seen that he old clicks a button show? and a slide pops up that shows a winter landscape and an abandoned and destroyed research station. A couple months ago, Munson Scott Research Station went dark. All personnel on winter shift were dead, mutilated in fact, as he clicks another slide, showing a slide of bodies strewn across the floor. The pictures you are looking at were recovered from a camera found at that location. There is no known predator in that region that could cause this type of damage. Could it be a disease or an infection? Or that looks like this, as he clicks it one more time, <laughs> and you see this figure in the snow that looks like a humanoid figure, but the light's reflecting off of it. Its body shape 
is extremely large, but ref like broadened, and there's these kind of weird loopies of metal coming off of it. Wow. What is it? Samples recovered that, from the site were fairly well preserved. Frozen, in fact. DNA still has not gotten back from lab testing, but uh, we're, we're hoping to get that soon. Um, lots, of, lots of samples to go around there. Uh, Synchronity Tech employees were also found on the scene, at least their bodies were anyway. They deny any involvement whatsoever, so we are hoping you could help us hack into their servers. Oh, that's easy peasy. Because uh, I'm certain they know more than they're letting on. I hacked those servers so much on vacation there. Man, but that thing, though, was like bipedal and see that heft on there? That's was some strength, son. No, that, that, knowing that the Synchrony Tech guys are on it's probably a robot they're building. Probably no Cthulhu action whatsoever. Oh, man, I'd love to get my hands on that robot. Yeah, have you seen Big Dog? Click. It clicks another slide, and you see this mutilated body that's taken <gasps> on a different shape uh, that looks organic mixed with, like, it's kind of, like, pushed up against the wall, and its body has started to merge and melt into the wall. <clears throat> Interestingly enough, when all of this was going down, click, another slide pops up. You gonna be okay? Oh, the noise I haven't heard from a person before. Replace <sighs> Ismay with that. Are you okay? <laughs> all right, man. I don't know. You might be Ismay good with the guns, but I don't know. Look, and that. Okay. Look. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. You know. So excited to see a. a, a a, a nasty body. I'm sorry that, that I'm not like eating cake because I'm seeing this. It's I hate to break oh, it yeah. To you. You're a real edge lord, aren't you, huh? Cause you look going to jam out to some My Chemical Romance after this? Damien, uh, if you re remember, I just recently said that we might need him to hack into those servers. Uh, yeah. Is that a skill that you possess? Nice, uh, Shut the fuck up and let me finish my presentation. All right. I love you, Damien. Don't take that the wrong I way. I love you too. Okay, so, basically, he clicks another slide that now shows a map of the South Pole. That dot, that red dot, what do you think that is? That's the furthest point. Not that. I mean, it's the South Pole, but that dot, the energy source. Well, well it's farther away from the station, so there shouldn't be any kind of energy source there, right? It's radiation. Appearing out of nowhere, and can you? I can you believe this shit? It pulses. Wait, what? It's radiation, but it pulses. That would signify. He starts clicking through different intervals as you see it there, and then gone as the timestamps on the photos increase. There, gone. There, gone. There, gone. Now, almost simultaneously. The same bursts of radiation are spotted south of here in northern Arkansas. But according to satellite data, 10 milliseconds after each pulse, 100 consecutive pulses, they're gone, they're gone, they're gone. Each one exactly 10 milliseconds after the one at the South Pole. They're communicating. Yeah. Until the location stopped. And then a new radiation spike showed up. Over guess what? What? No. But don't don't worry. It was in lockup at the time. It's been checked for radiation. No melted skins coming off this creepy fucker. It's fine. I mean, you've heard of Half Life, though. I feel like that. We we tested for that. All right. It's fine. That's oh, it, what makes this unusual. So it. So it's got to be so some sort of device, then. That's the radiation a, appears and disappears. It can't. That's be a not device. how radiation works. Yeah, no, no it's it can't not be at a all. device if it just disappears. Is it well, alive? it could be a device beyond our understanding right now. I mean, uh, I'm just thinking scientifically here. So, to make things extra interesting, that location south of here, new reports show three individuals have been reported missing after having traveled there for a camping trip. Estimated disappearance around the time this baby and that fucking radiation spike went off. This is a coincidence. Yes, Devin. I think we all know what it looks like. Can you get that creepy thing off the table? It feels like it's looking at me. Every time I've seen it, it looks like it's staring right at me. It does have a strange aura about it. Thank you. Thank you. 
So what do we think I don't it know is why y'all getting the heebie-jeebies, right? It's just okay. a toy. That means now, you you like conspiracy theories, right? That's what we caught you doing, researching, looking for, yeah. diving into. Yeah. What do you think of this one? One of the women to report it as missing was the daughter of Jimma Baker. Now, unbeknownst to Jimma Baker, she's on our watch list as DNA records of Unsolved Mysteries place her as a missing infant in the early 1950s. Jesse Stagg, Agent Stagg to you, uh, remembers this one, I'm sure. Baby was lost, but never to be found. Parents killed. It seemed to be a normal accident. Not something that would come up on our radar, except until... Except until she reappeared as a five-year-old in the mid-1970s, before relocating to London with her very clearly not biological mother, who has no record in the United States whatsoever that we can find. Thankfully for us, we have an extensive backlog of DNA that we're able to test to verify these things. Now, <laughs> she just appeared in Southern Georgia as a five-year-old. Miss Baker, as an adult, has no knowledge of her heritage or that her family, as well as her DNA, was found at a birthplace in the early 50s. This is not something she understands or has any memory of. She also has no knowledge that the exact birthplace is none other than the location of where her daughter has now reportedly gone missing on this fucking nuclear infected pulsing goddamn anomaly. So riddle me that. Were they perhaps somehow connected with an ancient blood tie? Were they perhaps part of a cult? An occult? Well, that doesn't explain the time travel, though, does it? I mean... Yeah. You mean that robot thing in, in, in Antarctica? Like, they're all... This is not coming from a single thing, but an event. So, I have reason to believe more locations should have pinged with the pulse. Let's call it a signal. Because that's what it is. Obviously, it's a fucking signal. Yeah, and if it was before the But one... it was demolished. He shows another slide. As you now see a satellite that's destroyed, and then another slide that shows the inside of this burned out computer station area, but there's this black tar over everything. Some good soul out there knew enough to know that whatever was happening needed to be stopped. I also have good reason to believe our friends over at Kolob would have been pinged. But Esme, God rest her soul, can no longer confirm or deny that possibility. So we'll tackle those bastards another time. Man, it's if gonna I take could us just get my hands on uh, years whatever to get FBI, FBI agent that took out Esme. With a fucking car. It took I mean, three years to get her to undercover. God, everybody at the FBI, they don't even know what they're doing. They wouldn't stop to think that there'd be some other agents in the field. Idiots. Well, why would they? It's a innocuous small town in the middle of America. So who do we fuck up? Sorry, I'm just... Okay. Now on to why we're here. The mission. Today. Unfortunately, can no longer go on as planned. Now, I know you all were excited to head out to Lawrence, Kansas, but... And to reopen the case of this here monkey with an actual field test, but something bigger has come up as of just 10 minutes ago. Exciting. The monkey mission is handed over to Stag now. Wait, he's, he's research and he's R&D though, you know, I mean... It's a controlled environment. R&D is the primary thing we need in this situation. I think he's gonna be fine. He's not like in the Given field. Given the right, controlled so. nature of the experiment, well, Stag, be, I'm certain you can handle this one on your own. You'll be good, you got uh, this. It's just, you know, like you kind of wanted a tech element there, right? I mean, I was really looking forward to- Everything able to will get be some... recorded and documented just like the first test years ago. You've reviewed those tapes. 
You know what happened. We assume, you know, the same will happen. This assignment, of course, doesn't come without risk either. I mean, you saw what was on those tapes. If what we have reason to believe is true. I'm just saying that the other, the other test, they just didn't have the right tech element. That's the only reason why it went down. You know. Did you see, you need, need the new code? Well, no, I'm just saying for this this one in Lawrence, Kansas, it'd be really good to like have me go, but I'm guessing stags that's not on, on the... Look, I need... Look, Stag's on it, and I fully believe that this signal has brought this thing back online, and in the right circumstances, it will repeat the same outcomes, and we'll have better data this time to understand exactly what's going down. Do you follow any of this? Yeah. Actually, I do. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Based okay. on what... Uh, Oh, no. What do you think that is, Mr. That's, Conspiracy Theorist? That's a mind control device. Is the it? Hitler story. Yeah. Last time we activated this puppy, we saw a 15-year-old girl rip the face off of a full-grown man. Why was a 15-year-old girl present? She's a killer. Everyone in this test group is a certified killer who has somehow not faced justice. Sometimes we have to operate a little bit outside the law. You didn't want to try animals first? No, we're not. What? Why Take you want to? Why you want to kill animals? animals well, dude. I mean, that's a it's a human whose face is ripped off versus maybe a snake or something. Oh, you mean like try the human on? On animals? No, no, try it on animals. See if the animals go no, crazy. The okay, animals look, we're not, we're not, animals, we're not sick here. We're, we're testing this out on murderers, okay? And rapists, not animals. Jesus Christ. Our hand soap is animal cruelty free. <laughs> All yeah, right. And, like, everything should be, like, vegan based. Uh, yeah. Our, Even my mascara is vegan based. You know how hard that is to find? Bat guano. Bunny. Next. The rest of you. Yes. I just got off a phone call with that old bat, Larienza. Granada, Nicaragua is empty. Empty? As of this morning, the entire city of 125,000 individuals, gone. Did they wow. relocate? We don't know. No one knows. <sighs> You're gonna take the new blood? We need to assume anything is possible. Can I ask a question? Yes. Are the animals gone too? Yeah, I, I didn't ask. It's important. You should ask. Well, that's something you can okay. figure out when you get there okay. in the field. It's good to have a job. I do not, in any way, shape, or form, find this to be a coincidence given the things that have been going on lately. Especially right before we test the device. I don't believe in coincidences. Local government is trying to keep people calm by claiming that it's some gas from an active volcano in the area. And then that people just disappeared with it? They've completely locked off everything in the area. Videos that have been added online have been being taken down by our government. We've been called in to see what's really up. Now, uh, New Blood, before I put you on a plane out of here, you got any more questions for me? Uh, not at the moment. Do you have, like, an email uh, or something? Not very good with technology. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. Um, are we going to have any kind of protective gear? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you need? Can I bring I'm some of my... Uh, my tech stuff that I've been working on for yeah, us to like finally idea. give a try. Yeah, yeah. Is there radiation and is there a gas or is that just a government cover up? We have not got that information yet. That's information that you might be able to get access to on the way or when you land in Managua. All right, I'd like, yeah, radiation gear too. Yeah. yeah, I think that might be a precaution. I have one more question. Yeah. Um, In the videos and pictures that were released online, did it look like there was a struggle or a panic? I do not know. This is information for you to figure out. This is literally just dropped in my lap, and we need to get you there as soon as possible. It can be anything. All right. <laughs> That's all of us? It's like all five of us because Stag's going? Stag's on the Lawrence, Kansas case. 
I know you're all anxious about it, so I'll send you reports back on that as soon as I know something. You gave us the minutes? Yeah, the, the minutes. Okay. Right. Okay. We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be fine. We'll be good. And, and you know, like, <sighs> give us a rundown of everything tech-related that, like, happened with it. You know, I got a couple of my transporters that are going out to Lawrence, so I need, I need to know how it's, how it's working out. It's a new iteration. You seem very hell-bent on this, like, tech stuff. What's the tech stuff that you've been looking forward to with this monkey? Uh, well, Isn't you know, it obvious? She doesn't believe in this shit. And by anchoring herself with tech, it allows her to have some sort of, like, reality in this world because the things we're being faced with here completely boggle any resemblance of science whatsoever. Even if a person doesn't have faith, they still need to believe in something. Hey, I'm, okay. s I'm like, sitting right here. I uh, think it's good was, you believe in technology. Oh, now you scientific know how explanations now you know exactly for everything. how it felt like when, when y'all was, yep, feel I'm that. I'm confused as to how I was rude. That. Oh, no, not you. I was talking oh. to you. Roy. I thought Roya. I was socially misstep. I said Roya. Roya. I totally said Roya. This is very Roya. awkward. Yeah. That, All right. that was not what you just said. I, I was said, sitting here. Good. You didn't, you didn't even yeah. say yeah. that. It's more totally awkward than did. my first day. That's Marla, I'm putting you in charge of the mission as our combat expert. We don't know what's out there, what's going on that could be dangerous. Also, keep in mind that Nicaragua is currently in an unstable state with their government. Uh, that could affect proceedings going on out there. Be safe, everybody. And, uh, you know. I'm sorry, is there an extra extraction plan in case there's an emergency? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, like Marla steps home. up. I'll handle any aspects of extraction. I'm sure I'll be able to figure out a plan along the way. It's a long flight. Thank you, Marla. Are we taking the private jet? Yes. <gasps> You'll like that. It's nice. It's very comfortable. Oh, okay. And there's uh, Wi-Fi in the plane, so there that's is, good. Yeah. All right. It's free, isn't it? Of course it is. Charging? It's a private jet. No, I've they're not going to charge. I know you always worry about the NAD, but they're never going to charge like that. They're not going to nickel dime us like that. They charge us for the vending machines. Well, that's kind of different. It's, it's kind of a good price point when you really think about it. It's true. You know, it's like 50 cents for some Reese's. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Free trip. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're I go we're going. to uh, prep out the light equipment and guns and equipment and stuff. So, um, tell me... What you prep? Can I prep more than that I've got here? Since now that I've got new information. If you want to roll for it. Oh, so I can take any, everything that I've just taken uh, Stop without rolling? Questions. Of course so you can. So you, cur <laughs> you currently have a concealed and carry sidearm. Yeah. Uh, a full mag, spare mag, tactical, tactical knife, tactical flashlight, uh, safety, undergarment protection, fierce bulletproof. Okay, would you like to take anything else? Um. Yeah, can I take an uh, AR-15? All right, roll for it. We, we got ten dice. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last. <laughs> hang on, I'll roll this in two lots. Two. S oh wait, hang on. You and on that, it was two sixes, sixes and a one, and uh, three sixes and two ones. How how much hope do we have? You have ten. Whoa! Uh, oh, I'm getting wow, some thanks. stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, uh -oh. Three sixes. I do not feel so good. So, you are bringing along an AR-15. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with extra mag. And a training manual. I don't need a training manual for it. I hope not. Okay, would anyone else? Yes. Uh, so, um, Roya, you are bringing your messenger bag with... Metroid amateurly embroidered on it. It holds electronics, a toolkit, tricked out smartphone that you built, hand crank flashlight, lock kit pick, a uh, lock pick kit, small welding kit, random SD cards, Jesus. tricked out taser. What? This, this is like stuff just in the okay, okay. bag. Tricked out laptop that you built. No, this is good. Shades that say fly on one eye and <laughs> AF on the other. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you like to bring anything else? Amazing. Yes. Um, Roya's been busy. She's bringing a spectrometer, an astro being and trapper, Wait. and <clears throat> what a spectrometer? Ex spectrometer. Okay, and what it else? It reads the spectrum. Okay. And an astro being and trapper that she made herself. 
And this has not been field tested, mind you. It, none of this has been field tested. This was okay, all. all right. Go ahead and roll for that. How about the teleporter? And <laughs> and four five mini teleporters <laughs> of the most stable oh, iteration. Was, was so blue here's the thing. The blue um blue device. That the blue device. She here's invented. the thing. I see what you're trying to do here. Three. You're going to have to roll for every item that you want to add uh. extra. I will do the spectrometer. Okay. Roll for it. What is the spectrometer? Uh, it reads the spectrum. It'll be like um, if, if something exists on the spectrum that we can't see with oh, the invisible okay. eye, we would be able to see with the spectrometer. Oh, okay. Oh, for example, how we can't see ultraviolet oh, light. All 10 that way? All right. <laughs> You're in okay, I got a... One six, Radiation. two sixes. I like how you're adopting my technique, though. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, I got one one, so I'm going to use one of the hope. That's a good idea. Okay. I had two sixes for the spectrometer. Okay, you have added the spectrometer. Would you like to add anything else? I would love to add the astral being and trapper, but maybe I can build that in the field. You'll have to roll for it anyway. Just roll I know. for it. Astral being and trapper. Roll for it. <laughs> One six, one one. Two, si Two three sixes. sixes. One, I'm one. gonna use a hope. Okay. For. Oh, okay. So that's four sixes happen for astral okay. being and trapper. So make a note on that where you write it down. When you go to use it, you're going to have a negative three dice to your <laughs> roll. God. That you will remove before using, as this is an untested device that has never been technically. What does it do? Created. Um, if there's something um that doesn't exist on our plane of existence, yeah. um, I can entrap it for oh, an undisclosed okay. amount of time. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. you're bringing right. the ABE? Yes. Oh, good. ABE. Should I roll for one mini teleporter? I would like you to bring as much tech as you can, please. I'm going to do one mini teleporter. Okay. The same one. Stack used in... Yeah. yeah. One, six... Three sixes. Three sixes, no ones. Okay, you bring along a mini teleporter. All right, all good. Andy, would you like to bring anything outside of your briefcase of work papers, key cards, supernatural related items, EMF meter, garlic pellets, silver wire, small cross, disposable camera with flash, sketch and notepad, little book of monsters, conspiracy theory, reading materials, small candles, chalk, and salt. No, thank you. I am fully prepared, I hope. <laughs> Devin, you have with you a backpack filled with your laptop, tablets, and computer peripherals. Would you like anything else? What do you need to hack? I'm going to stop this for a story moment while I'm checking over my stuff in my bag at my new desk. And I'm making sure everything's there. I've got tons of wires. I have way more wires so many female male outputs <laughs> there's not going to be anything i can't get into and then i just f for whatever reason open the drawer uh and notice a beretta a beretta <laughs> and two clips oh it's me and I, I, mm, okay <laughs> I yeah not because this man was better so I, l I like look and i just shrug and i pack it in Cool. I'm going to make you roll for the two clips. <laughs> okay. Either way, you find the Beretta in the desk. It's also got Esme's name inscribed on it. Okay. Uh, mm. um, oh, it's, is this a six? Yes. Okay. Uh, one, six, two ones, and I guess I'll use the hope to yeah. re-roll. It's a good nice. idea. Bad. Yeah, just nice. one, one six. <laughs> okay. Bad. You are able to bring the two clips Oops. with the Breda with you as you pack them into your backpack. You all gather your gear and follow Marla out the building. Um, inside the janitor's closet, as you go in to get into the elevator, you open up like this like locker that's inside the janitor's closet and put on like jackets that say University of Iowa and a hat that says University of Iowa as the janitor's closet is rising up. <laughs> as you all uh, <clears throat> exit the janitor's closet one at a time, pausing for at least 60 seconds on each exit and make your way out of the building and down to the local airport. Um, after you do that, 
A little side note, as you're leaving the building, um, through the delivery chute, a package has arrived for Director Sue Bunny. Director Bunny. Um, this is something you guys don't see, but just for the audiences, he opens up the pack. He tells Agent Stag before he leaves, it looks like these uh, DNA tests have come back and uh, some samples from uh, Munson Scott Base. So I'm going to get on these as you're out there on your mission. And we're going to end with that as we now are up in the air on the way to Managua, Nicaragua and your private jet, Department C's private jet. <clears throat> okay, so Devin, you, you ever been in a fight? Uh, yeah. I think he... He doesn't sound so sure. I mean, like, he, in middle school, you know. Are you okay with guns? Do you want a gun? These uh, girls don't usually carry, but... Please don't uh, call me a girl. Uh, yeah, that's not cool, Damien. I, 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 found, I, I brought one. I found one. I, br- I got a gun. Did you, you bring one? Did you bring Esme's gun? Look, uh, gu- guys, I... The one I saw you cleaned out his desk. <sighs> Did you check in the secret I f- door? No, oh. I didn't. I forgot. He found it. It's fine. It's it's fine. Hey Just man, it, um, I mean, listen. Do you know? Do you know how to it, use though? it? Do you know how to use it? Uh, I played Time Crisis. A hey lot. hey hey. Um, so you Devin, actually don't have it? any gun training? Devin, Devin, no. Devin. Uh, sorry for giving you a hard time. Can can we switch? He's a Glock. Can I just can I just take his mask gun? Sure. Okay, nice. so the two of you switch. I take the Beretta. Do you take the two clips? Yep. And he 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 has my spare clip. He's got he's got two clips too. One in the gun, and he's got a spare. Yep. Okay. I've got his mixed gun. <sighs> Devin, just come with me. Have a seat. I'm gonna teach you how to use that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and keep <sighs> the safety on. You know, safety for safety's sake and all. Yeah, so yeah. she sits down with you and starts training you on how to use the gun. Um, Andy, what are you doing to prep for this journey? I'm studying quietly with my feet up on the chair. In Do the you back. have any record in your notes of mass disappearances? I have a couple of records about it, but it's unusual. It's usually starting with animals, detecting some sort of natural occurrences about to happen, like with the sea lions, they all left their normal perch in San Francisco and ended up somewhere else because of the earthquake. So I'm going to keep looking, but there's also a lot of ties in with war, mental warfare, neurological science. It could be any number of things, not to mention plagues, diseases, parasites. Okay, well, we'll let you keep researching that and see if that reveals anything to you when we land. Um, Roya, how are you prepping for this trip? Roya is like gorging herself on like the cheese platter that's in the private jet because they all, they never skimp on food when it comes to anything. Maybe it's a 1950s mentality. While she's doing that, uh, she's having her uh, tricked out laptop she built running simulations on the astral being and trapper to try to in the future, if she has to use it, that then there are some, some research and some things that she can tweak on it. She has some footing to stand on. So maybe chips down that minus three dice. <laughs> 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 we'll see about that. And uh, Damien, I'm, how are you prepping? Uh, I'm just I'm cleaning her gun and I'm polishing it. It's just, uh, yeah, the gun. And uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not really needing to prep for it. I'm just ready to kick some ass if I need to. And But I'm just cleaning the gun and just polishing and cleaning it. And just Bring over a little uh, fruit platter for Damien. Oh. Okay, so yeah. while you all you like are prepping for your trip, on your long flight from Iowa down to Managua, Nicaragua. We will begin chapter one. at the airport in Managua. It's hot, extremely hot, 98 degrees, 
humid, sticky. You collect your luggage. It's like Florida in here. Yeah, no, it is. Oof. I'm deeply concerned my hair will go curly. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Just like you always look good, Andy. You can oh, just like sure throw some nice. pomade on or or something like that if you want to feel better about yourself. It's good to do a little self care every now and then, isn't it? Ah, uh, Department C. Hey, yeah. Bonjour, Monsieur. La Rienza. Hello, welcome. Bonjour, welcome. Ça va, Monsieur. Not French. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do I fucking look French? You sounded French momentarily. Okay, all right, great. Uh, hey, the uh, the old man told me you were coming down. Uh, we got some crazy shit going on down here. Yeah, what's up? Yeah. He filled you in completely. He hasn't told us much. We don't have any. Right, well, we need to get out of the airport. Stuff's hot around here, and okay. I mean hot, like dangerous. We need to get out of this area as quickly as possible. Radioactive, right? Yeah, I got a van over here, so let's get in the van. No, not radioactive. Oh. No, we don't have to worry about that. You said hot, okay. Right. No, no, we're all good. I'm sorry. Yeah. What was your name, man? Lorenza. Lorenza, I got it. I've been Wait. working intel for you guys for the last ten years. Yeah, I know. Um, it's just like I stare at a computer reporting screen. Reporting on all like, things occult in Central lot. America. I always yeah. I'm not good with people. I'm sorry. I thought yeah, I it was it. pronounced Lorenza, but that's the whole French thing again. Lead we the way, man. We Wiz appreciate the, all the, the work that you do. Yeah. See, I can do that. Love your yeah, work. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't really care. All right, we got. Lead all right, the way, let's man. Go. Let's go on all right, the hop, van. hop in the van. Hop in the van. And this is an all-black van with tinted-out windows. Um, and once he gets inside, he kind of like hits a button, and like these panels on the side change, and it just shows now like plumbing repair <laughs> on the back of uh, the van. All right. Uh, uh, so. That's good tech, then. What, what, what do you? What have you guys? What do, you, what do you guys, what did, what did he tell you? Just everyone disappeared. disappeared. Yeah. That yeah. was it. 100, 125,000 people in Managua Yeah, 12 hours. 12 hours ago. Look, I, you know, they've got a cover story going, facing? but it may not hold was for long. Okay, we've got about... Have we found anybody? <clears throat> we got about maybe an hour of daylight left. We're not going to get there in time, so we're going to be hitting the area around dark, which is not ideal. Why not? What are we? What are we? Uh, what are we dealing with? Because it's fucking dark. Of course, it's not ideal. It's uh, dark outside. It's harder to see shit. I we have some technology. But what are we dealing with? We're doing like, we don't know. We don't know what we're dealing with. How, why flashlights? would I just say it's supernatural? Why would I just I'm say just it's saying, supernatural? I'm just saying. What are we dealing with? Is it supernatural? Is it? How the it? fuck do I know? Everybody disappeared, man. All right. All right, let's get there then. All right, so like, all we know, 12 hours ago, boom, everyone's gone. A couple people came into town. As the sun was coming up, notice the entire city's empty. Whatever they were doing, whatever was there, gone. Empty. Just gone. Vehicles crashed into poles. The TVs left on. Boats idling in the bay. Just there. So it's like they just disappeared. The people are just fucking gone. So they didn't leave. They just essentially disappeared in thin air. That's what we're was thinking. Was it all of them or was it half of them? Am I right? I'm sorry. I should make jokes. Is that I, I apologize. Joke? No, no, I'm just... I'm just what kind here. of tech would, would you know you? I mean, what, 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 is, what, what, what are you even talking about? That's, no, it's it's uh, it's no, it's a comic book. It's called Infinity War, and it's just like this whole thing with Thanos. And there's, Royal, there's a what, guy. Oh, get the, the fuck out of my van. That doesn't no, make no, its I'm, way down here till next month. Get the fuck out of my van. It's an actual comic book that was made way <laughs> back before this still movie. Does it? It's still it is an actual it, comic still book. It is an doesn't actual come out. There is, okay. no. Until next month. There was Thanos. Get the fuck out of my van. There was Thanos' okay. Black Quest, and then there's Infinity no, War and Infinity still, Gauntlet. Right. This is a comic Roy, book. Roy, 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 what could this spoilers. be? If, if it's a comic book. I'm not even talking spoilers. about the movie right, right Roy, now. If they disappeared in thin air, could it have something to do with like the similar tech that you had with your teleport? What could it be? I mean, I'd actually have to get there on the ground, maybe like look at stuff with the spectrometer and see if maybe it's something like they got phased out, maybe? Because when you I use mean, the, your tech, does it leave any residue of any type on the spectrum that you could... It depends on the tech. I mean, I'm not going to be able to tell anything until we actually get there. Okay, okay. And I was talking about the comic book, no, Lorenzo. That's the comic a spoiler. Book. I'm sorry. That I'm was a, a oh, I'm Lorenzo. sorry. It's a, it's a spoiler back yeah. from like decades ago. Yeah, Maybe yeah. if you like read it, the comic um, book, sent, then you would you can't know. can't expect people to, to be a dinosaur and read comic books now. It's not a everything. dinosaur that's kind of thing. Oh, you mean when Jim Starlin had him snapped? So you just basically tell me everyone's trapped in the Soul Stone? Just keep ruining shit for me. Okay, just so it's you know. It's a comic book I, from you know, way back. You spoiled it for me. But I don't give a fuck, okay? I don't even know if but they're going to do that it. in the movie. We don't know if it's going to happen in the movie until it comes out in March. I still have It no came idea. out months ago. It came in May. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What, what day is it? What time? It's like now there. Uh. It's, it's the end of July. So <laughs> you are making your way down uh, four, uh, four Highway. 
um, for Highway, making your way down towards uh, Granada. Um, the city is an old kind of Spanish colony um, on a very large, extremely large, largest lake in all of Central America. Um, there's a port and a volcano that looms over the port off into the distance. Um, you're about an hour and a half away. Uh, you notice as you're leaving Managua um, that you pass many riots uh, and protests um, and the tension is really high and there's a lot of uh. anger in the air. Lorenzo, so what's with the town? Is there any reason why, why at all uh, this would be targeted by anyone or anything? Is there, does, the does there any I, don't, I don't know. I mean, we, we don't want to rule out government involvement here. There's a lot of stuff going down. The, the government uh, just recently had a bunch of kids that they were shooting at inside of a church. There's there's just some... The, the tensions are really high right now. And, yeah. um, I, you know, we don't want to rule out any sort of... Anything like that. I, I can't imagine that they even have the capabilities, this government, to somehow displace 125,000 people. And, from and a, that's why we're that's why we're commu- that's why we're here. That's why we're communicating. Okay. Now yeah. that's from a culture and and, and uh, people aspect. How about uh, like geographical landscape wise with the volcano? Is there any? Uh, I mean, the government's setting a, a rumor right now that everyone disappeared due to some sort of gas, or, or they, they're just saying people are, it's quarantine. They quarantine the area based on this idea that maybe there's gas releasing from the active volcano uh, just south of Granada. Um, uh, people obviously are buying that shit because they've only quarantined, quarantined off Granada. They have not quarantined off the surrounding areas. Um, and I don't think that's going to fly for much longer. And you're going to see as we get close, there's, there's a lot of people coming in a lot of people had family there a lot of people from outside of town want to mm. just know what the spectacle is we're gonna have to push through a lot of people even to get inside of the city limits have there been any reports about how the domesticated animals or wildlife has been behaving there have been no reports of that if, if it was something to do with the volcano the animals would know they would have left before the people that's very yeah. true that makes sense with that's like animal true. behavior things there is one thing that i have to say um I meant Thanos' quest, not okay, Thanos' you know, black is quest. Thanos you know, I was kind of confusing that with Black Order. And realize I'm just, I just and wanted to say like real quick. That's all you gotta do. Batman? Yeah, no, it's like okay. a big purple thing. That's the easiest thing. Well, he's actually, he's actually from people. Titan. Lorenzo, he's in son, terms of... He's son of Eternals. In terms of the other with people, geological, now, like, is there any information in South America in terms of supernatural... We're in Central America, just for the record. Central, yep. Uh, in, is there any uh, possible events that have gone on on the other side of... of uh, have there been any other mass disappearances um, that you've heard of or like in the area? War crimes, not, political not in groups, this area. guerrilla groups maybe? Wait, you said not in this area. What other area did something happen like that? Well, there's the Roanoke colony. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I thought we were talking about like recently... No. Okay. Um, Has there been any similarities between the Ronin and this one? Well, I mean, it's hard to say if there's actual similarities, given that, you know, in this situation, uh, back then there was no record of, like, where those people actually there. They could have just left back then. That, you know, in the time of smartphones and all these things, it's just... It's hard to create some sort of correlation when people just disappear, leaving their TVs on, leaving their cars running, uh, you know, restaurants with the fans on. Before the sun comes up, but it's and cars crashing, so obviously yeah, that's people the were. Thing. So that that yeah. would indicate if people that, they, were that, they that they literally that they literally just right. yeah, if somehow people were running got, from something, it would be a very different. Have there been any right. um, like were there any reports in the area of you know like lights in the sky or you know any kind of like UFO sightings or anything? Not else not like to that? my recollection. You might have to talk to some of the locals. Right. Um, yeah, I, that's a good question. The neighboring, uh, the neighboring towns. You know, uh, how many, how how many people can we get our hands on to kind of ask them questions? Well, the problem is the towns are all a little bit far away. You know, once you once you get outside of the city limits, y- you're dealing with pretty large distances. Now, the one thing that we might have some sort of luck on is there is kind of an overlook at a distance, um, a mountaintop that you can kind of see Granada in the distance, but given the time of day that this all went down right before the sun rose, that, that area would have been closed off anyway. Nobody's going to actually understand. There's no options here. 
Okay, but that sounds like something that we should try to take a look at. Too. Okay, you're you're I mean, you're supposed to be the tech expert, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, I I got a uh, I got a SIM card here, uh, pre prepped for you. If you want to pop that in, see if you can't hack in any like satellite imagery, anything like that, to give us possibly some some look around what's going on there currently as we're on our way down before we just set foot walking right in there. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think I'll just let's yeah. let's crack that. If over. you would, thanks. All right, so he, he, like, hands you a bag that has, like, it's just, like, a uh, plastic bag that he's obviously has gone to a gas station and bought a bunch of SIM <laughs> yeah. cards and he just throws it at you. All right. Great. Now, uh, you know, get to cracking, Devin. Yeah, yeah, so I pop the, the SIM card in my tablet and kind of, you know, go through all the rigmarole of signing up the account. And, uh, and now that that's done, after 30 minutes, it's like, all right. So tell me, tell me what you're trying to do. So, so I'm the first thing I'm gonna do is try and uh, and uh, well before I even do anything, uh, what's what will be the nearest satellite? <laughs> what will be the nearest satellite services that this? Uh, just hack into the U.S. government. Give me U.S. government images. Oh, I mean, you want U.S. government? Oh, okay. yeah. Come on, use, we, your, use we, your DARPA credentials. Then you hacked into DARPA's server. I'm sure you can get there from there. Yeah. Could, okay. Could we I get like start. images of the place with different? Maybe like, uh, are we able to get those? Are those satellites able to take different kind of like images based on different spectrums? Yeah. Maybe? No, yeah. that's a really good idea. Like, uh, okay. go ahead and use yeah, DARPA to like hack into the satellite so we can get some satellite reads along oh, with you. Spectrums. Along with you, like um, looking at the uh, maybe SD we card can see something that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. So, what was the what was the exact time they were reported missing? Okay, so we're looking at um, the reports came in almost 12 hours ago exactly. We're looking at about you know about four in the morning. Uh, about well, okay, right about now. The first report it says here about coming in at 5:30 a.m. Okay. Okay, so right before the sun came up. So, if you want to look for stuff. In that yeah. range, maybe yeah. go a little so bit further back too, because that could have just been the first report. Yeah, I want to look 12 hours before that 5 a.m. and 12 hours after, just to kind of have like a control as well. All right, go ahead and roll for that. Okay. So click clacking away. And for all the new viewers, uh, success in this game is any sixes in your roll. They have as many dice as there are candles on the table. As the candles disappear, so do the dice. Um. Oh, welcome. One, uh, one six, one one. That I'm gonna use hope. To re-roll. Okay. <laughs> it was a one again. I'm gonna use another hope. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's a third how, one. How you have hope? three more hope remaining. Should I? Surely we have four. Huh? I've have got I missed? three. You've got three left. I mean, we got ten oh candles. No. Just let it, let it lie. I mean, honestly, if you roll re -roll again, re-roll it. Re-roll it. I... Two. <laughs> so, so I have Ooh. one. One six. Okay. What was up with that dice. die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so what do you find? Uh, so it seems like, crazy enough, it seems like satellite footage over Granada that is bustling what you would normally see, and it's and it and nothing seems to change except at that exact uh, moment, actually like maybe 30 minutes before it, just the the heat blips disappear mm. no, it, it just goes it's almost like looking at a screen with a whole bunch of dots and then the dots disappear like someone within turned a second. off the light right yes were the uh, animals gone too uh it, yes the animals were gone too <gasps> so everything <laughs> anything organic yeah is gone yeah this wow. is looking Even real crazy y'all it, it, it does seem like they disappeared it just they're From there one, one moment and then they're gone just i see lots of heat signatures the heat signatures disappear. But yet everything else stayed the same, the buildings, the yeah. constructs. Yeah. So it's not a time rift, I don't think. No. Uh, I'm just concerned now. I mean time rift? You guys have records of time rifts now? It's just yeah. rumors, but no. you know, every now and then an island will appear and disappear, and some people say it's a mirage, and other people say it's a time rift. It's not proven. We have to get down there and, mm -hmm. and stay see it for ourselves i think just right. yeah this no we got to we got to get feet on the ground for yeah, this yeah we got to see to because i think at this point the only information that we have and can confirm is that they disappeared we need to look for evidence spread out see what we can find in the town and then let's let's just you know let's not um, jump outside the realm of uh, scientific possibility here we know that they disappeared from this particular spectrum from yeah. where we can view them right now yes 
What what the fuck does that mean? It means well. it just means that we have to get there. We have to get there. And we have to. All right. Well, we're out. getting close. As as a, as for threats, um, did, is there any way to pick up any kind of anything else on on the on the images? You said uh, all the heat signatures just disappeared. Well, yeah. I mean, like heat signatures. Would you like to be? Would you like to search for anything other than heat signatures? Can I just ask if you saw any ancient if gods or? Whatever? Okay. No. I think we'll would you nobody's like, seen Would any you like him to look for anything other than heat signatures? Any not. other type of energy? Well, or what do you guys too. think? Yeah. Do we care about threats or not? I'm always what, what, worried. Wait, what's what specifying I'm just saying. What? I'm just saying. Um, do we want him specifying to specifying threat? Like in what way? Like environmental threat? Well, yeah. no, 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 no. But I don't know. Um, if it's everything organic left, could it be? I don't know that. Uh, there was that picture of that middle thing. Oh right, the robot thing. That would have been picked up in the heat signature. If yeah, he's responsible. I'm an just saying. That'd, 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 that'd be good to do um, a, a, a to do a like image search uh, amongst the area to see if we can find something like that. Or even anything that's moving, radiation. at least. That's uh, Marla sits up and what do you think, Marla? Toward you. Devin. Yes. Is it possible that you can get access to any records of nuclear material? Oh, 100%. considering the images that we saw at the last location were also of nuclear origin with those pulses. Yeah, I'll just do a radiation scan. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see. It's for the uh, we got four sixes, nice. two ones. Mm. You've got six hope now. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah, might as well. All right. Thank you, I'll chat. Use Thank, one Thank you chat. so much. I use one hope to re-roll, and that is uh, five use, sixes, but I got another two. one. All right. Use uh, two hope is per dice. Oh, per dice. I use two hopes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Four left. Yes. Okay. All right. Oh, actually. You're able to hack in. I got six and yeah, one die, but do we want to re-roll this one? Re-roll it. Oh, yeah. That's really good. Seven. Good job. Whoa. Seven, Seven sixes. sixes. That's that is the highest so much we've ever yeah, had that's here probably, on our yeah. show, I that's think. That set yeah. the record. <laughs> I could have said that in a normal voice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Seven, Seven dice with assist. So, that's crazy. Um, what do you find? Something. Oh, yeah, okay, you. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Seven sixes means that you can. You can yeah, I mean, okay. you call you can, exactly you what you want. Yeah. You can be yeah. as in depth as you yeah. want. Yeah, and you, <coughs> however, you whatever can, you want. You can yeah. break the scale. <laughs> no, he cannot break the system. You can almost, you can almost break okay. the scale. Find skate. something awesome. Yeah, find something awesome. So, you can find. A this way. is where things get tricky, because if I put the screen up with the heat signatures and the radioactive signatures, we see a whole different story than the one we've nice. seen. We've seen three. Radioactive signatures move from person to person seconds before they all disappear. So not only are these radioactive figures, but they're moving fast because in the span of a minute, th those radioactive signatures have all been able to either touch or be near every citizen in Granada. That's 125,000 people. Holy hell. Yeah. What? That's some I mean, what, that's amazing. Well, how how do we protect against that if we drop down there to stop that from happening to us? If if we were to assume that these are nuclear in nature, do you think nuclear protection equipment would have any any type of advantage in this situation to protect us? Well, it stands to reason that the average citizen of Managua, or I'm sorry, Granada, Nicaragua, wouldn't have had that kind of uh, equipment, but we do. So yeah. it's within our best interest to just go ahead and prepare for that possibility. If I'm gonna go scuba diving, I'd like a scuba suit, please. You're I can't not. Hold my we're we're not going scuba diving. No, it's like why, it's why like did a, that even like come an up? An analogy, I don't, it no, like I got it. It's, oh, it's fine. Oh no, 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 no. It's just like understood, yeah. Understood. It's like a metaphor. Yes. yes. Yeah. Or like a simile. Okay. Because you use light. Let's yeah. Uh, let's. That probably is, is the best thing to put on some suits. Just yeah. Because. We'll go ahead and we'll suit up. Hey, you guys. Um. We're going to have to hold on here. I uh, Keep your heads down as you hear like a crack on the windshield. What is happening? As you look out and you see in the headlights as the sun has now gone down, the road is just filled with people. Um, as they're chanting, they're throwing rocks. As you start to hear them pelting the van, as you hear people screaming in Spanish all around, 
What your are vehicle. Ah, uh, they're just really pissed off. They think the government's killed everybody, and like I said, they just shot a bunch of kids in a church. This is not the right time. It's oh not good timing. Yeah. Wow, I must, I must just keep hearing that. like yeah, stuff hit. Um, flashbang grenades. No, we're, 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 we're <laughs> moving. <laughs> Listen, we're moving. What was that face? Yes. We're moving. We don't need to. I mean, we're we moving just, for now. We can I just need, chuck them out the top. I need all of you to successfully achieve oh. a, a successful die roll. Should have just fired a crowd or something. Oh, uh, all of us. You're in a van and you're trying to drive down the highway. Your windows are rolled up. Thanks. You wouldn't be driving around that place. Ooh, I'm down. gonna have to. But wait, it's so hang on. Human. You might have to burn something, Mike. No, well, I've, no, I've got one six and two ones. Uh, how many hope? Three. Don't screw us, Meg. No, no, I'm, not, I'm gonna <laughs> do. So, I'm gonna do something with that, but like, um, if I use the hope, then you're not gonna have the hope. Yeah, but if we lose the dice, then we don't have the dice. Um. Oh, you can burn something. Well, Jesus. Sure, fine. I'll burn something. You're burning something. I can't believe you did it. Oh my god. I do want to get to my home eventually, anyway. So. so, go ahead and narrate for me how you work this into the story. <laughs> um, I burned my my tr uh my virtue, which which is experience. So and that part of you is lost. And uh, I'm experienced enough from my history uh, as a cop and dealing with rights before to know enough that. Usually, fr from from looking out and, and seeing, it doesn't look they're they're kind of, uh, kind of, yeah, just the elderly. They're not they're not like a group of like um, really super angry like young men with weapons. So from just that experience, it doesn't seem like they're gonna stop the car. And one, five. I'll use a. Do you want me to use a hope for this one die? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, one six. All success. right. So you succeed. Um. As this is all happening and the van is starting to rock while the rest of you are going through your checks, how do you I just say, say this look, stay calm. Uh, it doesn't look like we're in any immediate physical danger. So. Okay, I got three sixes and one one. You have two hope available. I'm going to use one. I got four sixes. Okay, so what are you doing in this I'm situation? I'm throwing some flashbang grenades out the top of the Relax, van. No, 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 no. She, to, she already said she did it. Oh, did um, she did? Oh, she did. She rolled four sixes, and she just like said as she the rolled van's five going, things. and it's just like I'm open up the top because the van has that emergency thing. Wait, so. you got flashbang bombs? You, you got flashbang No, there's bombs. like they're equipped in the van. Oh. Four sixes say they are. Okay. So <laughs> great. So you start flowing flashbangs out, and as they, because they don't hurt people, right? They just make loud noises. Right, but they also sound like gunshots. So you do this as they hit the ground. Oh, maybe I should set smoke grenades. Too late. As you start throwing them out and you see these bright flashes going out, people start screaming. Um, and I'm going to say the next two rolls to succeed, you're going to have, <laughs> you're only going to get to roll nine dice instead of 10. So you have a negative one die to your rolls. But um, you get plus one because of the fun. book, right? <laughs> no. Uh, tensions oh, have now risen, sorry. and you start to hear gunshots. Well uh, you, it's, it's you start to hear gunshots in the distance. As I'm just gonna get real low here. Mala and I, you know, we can. Oh. If we need to. We'll have to kick. Some I don't work well with people. I thought they would disperse. It's you know, you know. what's done's done. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it your way. <laughs> okay, it works. Yeah, one six, yeah, th three at a time. It's a one. <laughs> I only have one one. Should I re-roll it? I'm gonna re-roll it. I think that's the last hope. That's the last hope. Oh, it's another one. We just lost yeah. that one. Wait, why is this one out? Oh, because, because of the nine. Because you're at a disadvantage now that everyone's in one panic six, mode. One, one. Uh, people are panicking. Gunshots are running out. Um, you've all succeeded. What do you do in your success? Are you just ducking, I'm ducking down? Ducking down past the glass behind the metal door. I'm getting my my AR ready. I'm realizing I'm not wait, 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 wait. I said some gunshots were heard in the distance, okay. not military fire, okay. but that's fine. <laughs> and I'm just going to stick with tech next time. Yeah. No, um, I, I I rolled two ones, but I'm going to re-roll my hold ones. Hold on, hold on. How many sixes did you roll? One. Okay. Okay. But I'm going to re-roll my... How, how are you going to do that? I'm burning my confidence. Uh, in my, I'm confident in my tech abilities that even though I've never seen a van... Uh, with the panel changing before, I think that uh, I can hack 
nice. the side of the van while also using Google Translate to say, we are, we are <laughs> not here to harm you. We are not the government. We're here to help. Very nice. interesting skills. Very good. And I rolled a one. <laughs> no. I well, rolled a one. Drop it. Take it out. But yeah, you did. You did get the successful. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, what did you say? We are not. We 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 are not the government. We are here to help. And you like wire this into the system of the. Um, you like wire this into the system or yeah, like of the I, van, like yeah, speakers van, or yeah, in the van, the okay. panel system that makes it look like it says plumbing now has an LED like marquee that is uh, transmitting that message. No somos el gobierno para el que estamos aquí para ayudar. So this just starts no somos playing out el gobierno para el que estamos as you're aquí driving para down ayudar. the street. It's just, just playing no over and over again. Para el que yeah. As you're walking down the street, ayudar. as people have started to disperse a little bit, um, they're still no in panic mode, but they're running in opposite para el que directions. Estamos There's a slight, aquí like, para ayudar. clearing has appeared in front of you inside no of the, somos el the road as you para feel el que him kind of floor it para as ayudar. he moves quickly now. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna use a dice app really quick to roll for. Does anyone have any dramamine? Any what? Dra I'm getting. It's no. motion sickness. Yes, yeah. it's the bumpiness. Motion sickness. Okay. Okay. So he kind of mm, like zooms through and is able to kind of break through this part as he kind of busts through the barrier that's been set up, as he kind of slides in and gets out, and his hands are up as the entire van is rushed by the Nicaraguan military. As he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And he pulls out this badge um, that's basically, you know, uh, United States government officials. And they're like, got their guns fixated on all of you. How do you guys try to de-escalate this situation? I have my credentials, but they're in my bag if you'll let me reach for them. I watch a lot of, um, um, you know, Law and & Order and NCIS. So mine's around my neck on a chain. So DARPA they can see my badge. Yeah, well, in, in terms of like DARPA's... Um, kind of like credentials what do they normally do when they have to go on a, on a they don't like really a, have credentials out in the field right but so what, do, what have they done like in the past who wants to lead this interaction <laughs> I guess I'll try since I already have Google Translate open okay all right, all right so, cool. so roll for that nice <laughs> do I I don't do I don't work well with people so um, do you have uh, nine dice in there yeah I should Eight. I think we lost one. We, we lost, lost one. Oh, wait, so that's so eight. that eight. Eight. back up. Yeah, so we get You're at nine. Oh, yeah. okay. It could win us all over. With oh, no, no, this. wait. <laughs> no, we're at eight because you had to take one out. No, we're yeah. at nine because I'm putting one back in because they're no longer affected Got by it. your flashbang. Oh, my. You need to. Goodness. What has he got? One, two, three. Uh, I, I have one <laughs> success and. Okay. Uh, five ones. Okay, well, yeah, just burn this. You have one ideal. hope. You have one hope available. No, from no, the no. Chat. I think burn, that's burn. also another record. Burn, burn you have to burn trait. Because okay. you, oh, oh, re-roll all ones as opposed to just re-rolling one die. Yeah. So. Uh, so I will burn my uh technophile trait, uh, okay. which uh which is gonna allow me to um not only have Google Maps but also uh not Google Maps, Google Translate, mm -hmm. but also hold it up on my Translate so they can read it if they can't understand my poor uh, explanation of Spanish. They, so maybe you. roll them one at a time or something. Okay. Now, once this is used, it's gone forever. Four. Nice. You feel this part of you? Six. Nice. Slowly dying. One. It's okay. Three. It's fine. It's just one die. Yeah. It's one. two. It's huh? two dice. We lost two dice. Well, no, 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 we lost no, one out of, dice. Out of that, he, we're only losing one. Right? Yeah, 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 two, okay. six. Okay. Yeah, okay, no, that's, yeah, wow. we got it, uh, yeah, we got through there pretty, I, okay. I think that's the, all right. That's you also know, you set, you set, you that's set two, two records. records. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you burnt two things in a first episode. <laughs> all right, what I'm are you saying, what ones. are you saying to them? Uh, hey, I'm saying, we are here to help with this disappearance situation. We are here with the U.S. government, with DARPA. Oh. No one knows what DARPA Don't is. Say it, DARPA. We're here with the U.S. government, period. I don't think that's a good idea. 
Estamos aquí para ayudar con esta situación de desavenencia. Estamos aquí para ayudar I mean, con esta situación de desavenencia. Estamos aquí para ayudar. And then an individual kind of steps through the crowd. It's like, Hello. Hello, thank you for coming. Hello, that's a girl. I was told you would be coming today. Why did you have to enter like that? Uh, it, that was the way that they told us to come. I mean... No, we, with we the flashbangs. Oh. Are you crazy? We're going to install hysteria. We're trying to keep the public from freaking out. It actually... Oh, that was a yeah, mistake. Yeah, that went off accident. Yeah, there, yeah, there was, was a accident. malfunction in the van. Sorry with, about with that. that. Yeah. We, we, like, we apologize intensely for that. Also, your Google Translate is very far off. Oh, I figured it would be. Sorry about Good that. Try. Good try. But uh, nice attempt to keep my men down. So, can you help us? That's why we're here. We hope to be able yeah. to. We're certainly going to try. What's yeah. the current situation as of this moment? Well, that's what you're supposed to tell us. We yeah, just need we'll to get through. We've got some equipment to do some readings, but we 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 haven't been given much information. But so that's why we're here to try to there, figure it out. Have there been a, any areas that you've, uh, in particular, been focused on in your search? <sighs> no. Everyone here is very superstitious for the moment, and. We don't want to go in there. What are the, what do this, uh, these superstitions, what do they, uh, what are they surrounded by? What, oh, sorry, what, um, what are they about? And as you're like trying to talk to him, you can still hear the sound of the crowd, you know, just 50 yards behind you, like chanting and, you know, yelling. They're basically trying to, they're, they're yelling that they know something's up, that this is, you know, like some government hit job and they're demanding that they be let in. Look, every, everyone's gone. No one's there. There's no blood. There's no... There's nothing. I don't want to or mean to stir anything up, but does this event have anything to do with the six kids in the church? Excuse me? What? Have you seen any wildlife recently? Have the domesticated pets returned? I've not seen any wildlife, no. No pets, no birds. Do you know if there were um, any, um, you know, reports before this happened of, like, lights in the sky or any, like, abduction, like, alien abduction-related reports mm. that were made? Just, you know, checking off some boxes here. Perhaps. As you ask that, you hear a gunshot in the distance. As he, everyone kind of ducks down and is like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just let them through. Let them through. Good. Just go. Go. Right. Okay. Go. Let's just go. As he runs and starts moving back towards yep. the barricade of people, and he's yelling at everyone not to fire, to keep calm, and try to keep the peace. Um, I'm just like, all right, we got to get, get, get in the fucking van. We need to get in get in the city. I, if that barricade breaks, I don't want to be go. standing here. We get in the van. Right, let's uh, go. Yeah. All right. Do you know what it is the locals are afraid of? What they're saying? What were they saying about superstitions? Like, superstitions like, do they have a local myth Everyone or just fucking disappeared, man. Do you want to go? In, like, you excited to go in I'm there? I'm just saying, like, was the superstition? If it was a particular thing. Yeah. Is there a lead based off of local superstition? Is anyone perhaps not that I not not that I know not okay. that I know of. All right, not then that then I'm let's, aware. let's just get let's get over then, there. Yeah. Then. It seems like no one knows what the fuck's going on. Let's just get in there so we can figure it out. Have okay. this thing take us or whatever. What? Just saying. So no. is, that, we, we, is that radioactive You suits? start pulling into the town. Uh, you're on a long kind of stretch of highway that's winding through the hills. As you then start to come to a clearing, as you're now in the valley before Granada. And the first thing you notice is there's lights on the town above you or in front of you, but no movement. You see a couple car headlights in the distance, but you notice they're still. As you keep driving in, he rolls the windows down. You hear that? I, I you hear that? It's like silence. Yeah. That's the why. The fuck I, are we driving into? That's why that's I don't why like it when the birds leave. We need okay. to set up like a base of operations or something. 
All right, well, I'm going to pull over just right outside of town, and uh, we'll, we'll set the van up, uh, get whatever equipment we want to set up, but I, I'm not going in there. Let's find out. Oh, are you being superstitious now, Lorenzo? It's our job. You know, there is a scientific explanation for this. Uh, this isn't a supernatural thing. We just don't understand it yet. People don't just disappear. We People will find don't out. just disappear. We will find out how and why. This oh, yeah. isn't this isn't like an agent. Right, I, I, I'm stopping. I'm stopping this. I'm stopping. All right, just, just let's set up. Why, why did we have to get here after sundown? This is creepy. Okay, it's fucking. This is creepy well, shit. You know what? Any any first signs of uh, danger, let's head back on out and then come back when it's day, maybe. But let's we do we're here now. Let's let's check it out. So I, got, I yeah, I got my AR. Can I just ask everyone? I know we are nervous, but does everyone feel an excessive amount of ill ease, paranoia? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit of um, you know, butterflies in my stomach. Yeah, no, and no shit, no shit. You seem to definitely be affected by it. Oh fuck. Uh, Marla, do you want to decide on the order? Marla's like, I'm fine, as she's yeah. loading up her do you gun. Wanna, do you want to decide the the order that we um? And where well. we go and whatnot. I mean, I've got the spectrometer, which I really want right. to give this a. Blowout. Everyone up on comms. I think we need to spread out to start, sweep the area. If you see anything weird, if you get any movement on any of your devices or anything that you can't explain, reconvene. Let us know where you are. All right, on your smartphones, we still get data out here, which is convenient. Pull up Google Maps. Use that to our advantage. All right, let's go in street by street. We're going to start in the north, and we're going to work our way south. Can we please invoice for the data rooming so we can get reimbursed? That's not a question for me. Okay. Okay. It's expensive. Yeah. Plus, if there's rum in charge of Yeah. Fuck it. I just start going. It'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> all right, just, just check in. All right, everybody check in. Stay on comms. Communicate with each other. Start right. moving in. Street to street, okay? Plus, I've got us all um, linked up in a group chat. Actually, um, you want to give me your your uh, smartphone real quick, Devin? Okay. And then you're part of the you're part of the group chat now. Welcome, Welcome. to the team. Welcome. Hey. You have a bunch of new emojis now as well for joining. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Right. So right next to where you all are, as you start walking down the street, there's only one road that branches off at first, as you see all the stuff off into the distance this one road you see a sign that says hospital I wanted to actually check to see if anyone was left in the hospital see if perhaps the sick were left behind maybe the dead that's actually a good point if um, if it was just um, heat signatures that disappeared or if it was um, actual organic bodies Marla are we sweating uh, all right well well considering that this is the only option we have right now unless we stay on the main highway let's stay together we'll head down to the hospital when we get into town according to the maps here just a couple blocks after that, we branch into the town. So let's, let's stay together until we get there, and we'll, we'll all go check out that. So, Lorenzo, you're going to stay here. If we need an escort, you got to bring the van in. you got to get us out. Extraction detail. If anyone gets through that barricade, you have to let us know, and we got to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I don't want to be here when the general public finds out. That everybody's gone. Yeah. Yeah. That we got... Roanoke 2.0. All right. So, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Damien, take lead. All right. I walk in front. Oh, wait, sorry. We're on foot, right? Yeah, yeah we're on front. foot. You're on foot. Uh, walking towards the hospital. I'll take the rear. Three non-combat in the mid. Eyes open. You know if you see anything hear anything now remember everyone all signs of organic life have disappeared mm. any sign of anything let me know Mala you want me to pull out the spectrometer now or later like in the hospital do it now I also set up my EMF meter it's Let's dark keep an eye out. it's dark right so I put my tactical flashlight on my AR and I'm just like okay when I turn it on, the, the screen lights up and I can adjust the different spectrums and it uh, use it. Okay. Um, why don't you go ahead and give me a roll? Yeah. 
One, one, I like six. how everyone's rolling in like lots Oop. now. That that was braced on top. That one did not count. No, no. I, I mean, I'm on your side. Remember? <laughs> okay, two sixes, one one. Do we you have, have any? two hope available. Oh, nice. oh, thank you, chat. <laughs> ah! Do we want to lose the dice or do I use the hope? Use it. I'm gonna use the other hope. Use it. All right. Five. Two sixes. Okay, you turn it on, and you see for a split second as it's booting up, in a flash on the screen, you see hundreds of dots appear and then fade away in an instant, just as you're booting up. And you kind of like tap the screen again, and it doesn't like reappear. Wow, that was weird. You get anything? Well, that was weird. Uh, nah, for, for a second when I turned it on, it was like, I got hundreds of dots. It's like everybody was here, but then it faded away, and now there's nothing. Was Your technology doesn't usually no, that, glitch. That's no, my technology doesn't when it works. That's and this works. extremely significant when we know the speed that this thing can move. That might not have been a glitch. That might have, for a second, we might hey, have let's not start making 100% certified claims that this is a thing or it can move. We don't understand what we saw or how we saw it, so we need to be open to all possibilities. What we appear to have seen in the satellite imagery is something that appeared on the satellite imagery with a nuclear signature that moved from person to person. Whether or not this is an object or could be something from within the people themselves, we don't know. But we know it appeared in groups of three, correct? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, well, with what I'm looking at right now, I'm not seeing any signatures. You know, as we get to the hospital, I can try to tweak there if it still reads nothing. But I prefer to wait until we get yeah. to where we're going. That's good Do idea. we know if there was any distance outside of town where life could be seen again? Uh, Lorenza. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you make a... I know you don't want to leave your van, but maybe move back a couple hundred yards see if you can find any sign of insects or birds we need to establish some sort of perimeter here to understand how far back this goes and when cool. the disappearance happened and hey guys did, does this not seem weird to you at all the vegetation it's everywhere it seems to have affected the fauna but not the flora can you right. describe what we're looking yeah, what, at? Yeah, what does it look like? So around you on the side of the road, you're in a tropical landscape. There's grass, and it's very lush. You're at, technically there in the wet season right now. Everything is very lush. There's standing puddles of water on the sides of the road um, as you're moving through the dark towards this hospital. What did you mean about the wildlife being... Well, it, it's... There's... As she said, the plant, the plant everywhere. life is fine. But all the animals and the all of the animals, basic, you know, humans are animals, so all yeah. of the animals are gone. Right. So maybe it's not organic right. life, but maybe it's um, mammalian Born. or yeah. well, the birds know. and the insects. We need okay. All well, of we, the we need to look for insects. Nobody's checked for that. I'm guessing. Everyone's I'll, I'll just saying everything. I'll look down in the puddle. I don't. I don't see any. There would be. This is water. It would be here. So we've got no mosquitoes. Yeah. Has no. anyone been bitten? No. I'm. Well, I'm now I'm, I'm usually the first one to get bit. So it's it's kind of like not organics, but just life Animal. life forms. Perhaps something with a heartbeat or a yeah. consciousness, some form of consciousness. And where did they go? Maybe like with a consciousness. Maybe. Um, is there any sort of residue? Like if, if they evaporated, I as opposed see any to like ectoplasm. Right. Like if they were to uh, you know be destroyed, as the uh, like it's I don't know. Some kind of molecular. I'm not the science guy. I'm just saying. Are you like talking about molecular goo? Yeah, I don't see that either. Uh, I don't know I what mean, I'm talking about. I'm just saying, like any kind we of like evidence that. of, of uh, doesn't even post. look like you there know, was a struggle. I mean, I only got a, a working hypothesis right now, but I just I kind of feel like maybe everyone's still here, but just they we can't see them. Like they are on a different, you, you know, you scale of the spectrum. Right? I mean, that's because of that flash yeah. makes me think that. But like I said, I'm I'm not sure, but it would 
if they basically phased out of where we can see them, that doesn't make sense why they why cars would be crashing. Is there a way we could communicate with them? I mean, a Ouija board. I mean, I could set up a well, seance, no, but that I don't think that's what's happening. That's like just fake. This is like a board and a, a you know joke. a thing like moving around. All right, eyes up. We're here. And look. As she lifts her rifle with the flashlight on the front towards the front of the entrance of the hospital, you see two pairs of shoes, a pair of pants, a belt with a baton attached. This looks like some sort of security detail uniform for someone working out front of the hospital. Yeah. But it's just their clothing as it sits remaining outside the front of the hospital. Looks like Is we got a rapture situation. Roya, I was gonna Roya say. goes rapture. up and, and checks to make sure that the underwear are in there. Yes. Yeah. It's an entire outfit. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just on the ground. Like It's just on the ground. Like, it's not like it in any fell. sort of order. It just fell. Are so there any other clothes laying around? Or is this the only pile this is of kind of leans inside with the flashlight as she sees a set and trail of other pieces of clothing. And it's just silent. It's dark. Did we see any yeah, other clothing in light. town when we came up here? Or was it just well, around we the house? Well, we yeah. weren't looking for it, were yeah. we? Gotcha. Yeah, this, this is first time that we were on foot. Rapture situation. All right. Well, I see that it looks like that, but it's, it's not really. The rapture's not real. It's That's not one of those real so things. It's 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 we can't discount any possibilities right now. So I mean, it's not going to be a supernatural explanation. It's well, going to be a, a scientific second. one. If all these people are in a different realm that we can't see and they don't have their clothes, are they all naked together? That must be so embarrassing. I mean, how would we... How do we know that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we don't know what situation we're in. When we're, I but the reading and then the clothes and, you know, the un she said the underwear was still... So this confirms that they were instantly... Gone. It looks like it. Come on, let's let's go. I start walks in towards the front of the hospital. It's quiet. The lights, you hear a slight flicker from the lighting above you. I think that's normal. Roaming blackouts, brownouts in this area. Yeah. Right. It's not uncommon. The generator will kick on if they go off completely. Well, um, the first thing we'd probably want to check is the morgue then. See if it's I just think that's uh, a good idea. But also restricted um, to I no, that's a great idea. Let's check to see if there's any dead bodies left behind if yeah. it's only taken. Right. And can I tissue. also suggest maybe uh they might have a security booth where we could see any C C T V of uh, Yeah, that's an excellent idea. CCTV of um, footage of the moment where it happened, when it happened, and how they how they disappeared. Yeah, and Devin, right. you you got that's, the that's time you. stamp of when all of this happened. Yeah. So all right, do yeah. you want to do you want to check that out? Yeah. All right. Um. I'll, I'll just do you want to go with I'll him? I'll go with him. All right. So you guys head that way. We're we're gonna go check out the morgue. Okay. Right. So remember, let us know. Yep. Yeah. So we head to um, where we think the security would be. Yeah, okay. we head down to the morgue. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to look for it. You want to roll to see if you find the uh, security room? Yeah, do you want to roll? Okay. Well, the music went up. I was like, oh, what's going on? It's like, oh, yeah, so this, quiet. this works. Yeah. It's the birds aren't singing. No, 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 it worked. I've got two ones and one six. God, we oh, no, one I've got three ones. I'll oh, oh, I, I we think are I have one. You have one hope oh. available. <laughs> oh, shit. Am we I are one happy traits? this... No, no, you only burnt one so far. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just saying, am I burning another? You have to. I guess you'd have to answer that. All right, so I'll burn one. <gasps> My other one. <laughs> God. I, I mean, don't like the idea of being left alone in this place. You all are going to go insane and leave Well, we me got here. Marla, so. So you're. Uh, wow. You're three you're sixes. You're burning your. My vice, I guess. Your vice. And what's your vice? It's dirty, as in like a dirty cop. Oh, yeah? <laughs> How are you going to play that into this? Um, in my past, I was a dirty cop. And uh, in that, I was able to essentially uh, manipulate CCTV. So I know how to operate security footage and uh, get to where I want to do, uh, you know, where I need to go in the footage. Okay. So I hit straight to where I know Usually, as a you know, as a cop, I, I know exactly where the, the security 
booth is and where they how they store the a CCTV and so I just go straight to it go straight to work because I've done this before when I was a dirty cop and uh, so you're gonna do that but there's a password that's protecting access to this system they're not uh, so old-fashioned yeah. uh, uh, Devin yeah just hand me that ah, keyboard let me get to work now, as you're in this room, one of the first things you notice that kind of creeps you out a little bit is in front of you were all the monitors. You see on the monitors the rest of your team heading down the hallway. From there, you could technically direct them to the area of the morgue uh, with what you can see on the security cameras. But the rest of the building's just empty, dead. And it gives you this eerie feeling, you know, like to be in a city on Christmas Day. It's just a feeling. There's an energy that's there that you can feel, but you can't see it. Yeah, let me, uh, area, right? by the way, y'all are on the right path. Just go ahead and take that up. Uh, and you should be hitting it perfectly. Uh, so just keep, keep it up guys. Uh, you're almost at the morgue. All right, I'm guessing you can see us then. Yep. I know this is a lost cause, but any other movement in the building? No, it just feels creepy. Okay. Yeah, that does, dude. All right, let's try the old hackeroni. Uh, got one success and uh, three, three ones. You only have two hope available. You will be losing one of those ones. Okay. Uh, at yeah, least. Re re <laughs> yeah. At least. Oh, dude, you ro you burned both your traits, right? He did. Yeah. I'm just saying. Um, next time, though. Next yeah. time, you roll throw on your hope die, okay. and that's what I'll do as well, because yeah. we're both at the same place, and we want to do that. So I got another six, but another one. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Initially, I'm, I'm looking for yeah. Let's uh, I'm gonna throw oh my, my hope in, because once we once you succeed a, a roll with your hope die, that you get an extra die. So okay. So yeah, and then a, a five, a five. You're or able to uh, tell me how you break into the security system. All right. So uh, you know, at first I tried to use my tablet to backdoor it, but it seems like uh, even though like in the U.S. my backdoor programs work, this. You know, uh, Central American uh, uses a different infrastructure and it doesn't work and I freak out for a second and then um, I just type in password <laughs> and it works. Okay, you're now into the security system and you're scrolling back 12 hours to that point where everyone so, just yep. disappeared. And what do I see? In the hospital at that time where there was supposedly you find a one frame difference. One frame. Everyone's in the hospital. You have feeds from all places. Next frame, as if in slow motion, you see clothes falling to the ground. You see carts that were being pushed slide against the wall, empty. You see doors slowly swing in one frame difference. Okay. Um, I, I, I take the, I take the, the video, CD, whatever it is, uh, with us. Are you going to like copy it over to a, an SD card? Um, sure. Well, I just take the original You tapes. don't... I'm not going to let you do that. Right, right. There are no original tapes. This is an internal system. The person with SD cards on them is Roya. Uh... Devin, can you back this up to a cloud somewhere? Yeah, I have the peripherals. <laughs> plug in, so I plug it in. So you're going to do something that you don't have. Wait, what did you have with you? You I just have, have your backpack, laptop, laptop, tablets. Laptop, tablets, and computer peripherals. Can you describe in detail what computer peripherals are? I should have had you do that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it's multiple cables. So it's LAN cables. It's going to be uh, HDMI cables. It's going to be USB-Cs. Uh, it's going to be lightning um lightning cables and like every cable that can go in we could you know what wait you can't say every cable uh <laughs> tell me what you got <laughs> lightning cable whoa oh sorry. that's as long as you didn't die yeah jeez i nearly <laughs> fell off my stool twice yesterday oh man i'm so yeah that was wild gravity's uh, messing up yeah uh <laughs> oh my gosh i thought i was gonna die thank yeah. you you're ready you're to right. try and catch me yeah, you're a, <laughs> we would have both went down so, <laughs> hey. um 
Okay, so, okay, so <laughs> you're basically you're trying to plug it in and copy over that footage. Yeah. Can okay. You, I mean, we'll you say that you're able to do that because the peripherals you have on you. But I've made a list of what you have with you. Okay. <laughs> so, so is he copied that onto like? Yeah, uh, he's copying it onto his computer. All right, fine. Um, so he's copying everything over onto his computer as he's patched can he, into Can it. he back it up to the Dava Cloud? Do you want to roll for that since that's... No, nah, whatever. I don't okay. Care. Cutting to you three, or you two plus Marla, making your way down to the morgue at this hospital. Um, Roya you is, you know, waving around the spectrometer at the current settings, trying to see if anything... EMF also. Nothing. No. Nothing. Um, uh. you see at the end of the hallway a door. Um, Marla, able to read Spanish, uh, lets you know she kind of points her rifle that direction. Let's go. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's just. Isn't it? It's 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 creepy as hell in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's very. I, oh my god. I mean, I don't like hospitals anyway, and then just like. This right now is just a, it's a whole different vibe. I feel like the hair on on the back of everything is raising up. I'll you go hear this sound as you get close to the door, like as the generators have kicked on and the lights go bright. Did you think they fixed it? Who's they? I think okay. this is an automated system. Yeah, I think it's just uh, we got on the other side of that brownout. Oh. All right, let's. Uh, Let's go through here and let's, um, well, check the drawers. Yeah. Okay. All right. As you push open the door to the morgue, you see two bodies, or at least covers that have the shape of bodies in black on two different tables in front of you and a wall with about 20 slots on it. It looks like the bodies may still be here. Uh, we need to confirm. Roya goes up to the, uh, First body sends out her hand and yanks back the sheet. You see a dead older male, blue in the face. Been there for a while. He's definitely oh. deceased. Okay. The smell. Uh, Roya puts the Just sheet. Put it back. Put it back. Puts the sheet back on. I top think of they the were body. supposed to put these. They're meant to be refrigerated. You see tools on mm. the ground. Uh, I think these were being worked on when... I think the pathologist is, yeah. When this, uh, happened, um... Perhaps we could move them into the cold room out of respect. Don't, don't, don't touch them. This is an active crime scene. I'm not sure it's a crime scene here, but... Well, we're not gonna be here long enough to really be that affected with the smell. Um, Roya gets some of the... The stuff that the morgue people use where they put it's like a vapor rub vapor kind of rub, thing yeah to put under and pass that to everybody's noses well passes it to them to put under their noses okay so you start passing it around and it hasn't uh, affected the corpses maybe the people that disappeared are still alive and that yeah but think about it why would it i mean is it if it didn't affect I die. What? What are you st stopping? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> what? Y'all didn't, didn't hear that? Hear what? No, you were talking and then you just stopped. <laughs> At some point, can we come back in? What? Um, yeah. No, what? Th there, w there was a... Uh, I think there was someone saying, help me, but in Spanish, like, ayúdame. But, um... You could hear somebody? Don't act like you didn't hear it, too. I didn't. I mean, you're standing right beside me. I really wish I did hear it, but I didn't hear a single thing, not a peep. Did it sound familiar to you? Uh, no, I mean, I got Spanish cousins, but none of them would be here right now. What do you, what do you mean you, you heard? I what heard, do you mean you I heard, heard? I heard someone, I feel like they were saying, you know, help me. Do you think they could in, be in the cold room? Like in Spanish. I mean, are you messing with me right now? You both didn't hear that? I mean, maybe I was deep I mean, you're, you're standing right here no, with me. we heard me. nothing. No. Uh, 
let's just make sure nobody is hiding in one of these drawers. Maybe you hurt a real person? I hope you, I hope it was a person. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, um, you know, we, we gotta, we gotta check to, you know, I'm just, this is, uh, this is kind of a creepy hospital kind of a thing, and, you know, yeah, you know what, uh, yeah, we, we should check to make sure that nobody alive is in here, and make sure that the rest of the bodies are. Mm hmm I take out my flash camera, and I take a picture. Ching! Oh, you hear that? Yeah, yeah, come up. Every time, after you, right when you take the flesh picture, the lights kill on the first flash. Um, um I'm so sorry. Devin? Y yeah? And in front of you, all the screens have lost power. Lights uh -oh. are off. You're in a dark room. Um, Devin? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, Damien? Yes. Yeah, yes. Can, we can hear, right? Is that... Yeah. Is, is Mala yeah, trying yeah, to get you yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, yeah. what's going on, yeah, Mala? Everything went dark. We lost here. power. Yeah, everything went yeah. dark. Uh, it's the whole hospital. Yeah. I realize this Do you need help? You need backup? What's going on? Um, Ro Roya pulls out her flashlight. She has a hand crank. No, we got we got flashlights. We're we're okay. Um, Do you want us? I mean, Roya's got possible contact. We don't know. She's hearing things. Roya doesn't have contact because it's not a real thing. Okay, well, so. just to let you know what's happened here, it was uh, within one frame, everyone disappeared. Yeah. What do you mean one frame? I went one frame, they're there, one frame, they're not on the security footage. Uh, looks like we got backup lights coming on. Why are they always red? I what? think I need to test something. I'm so sorry if this gets worse than it already is. <laughs> Can you roll for me? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that is one one and one six. Do we have any hope? Let me check. You have one hope? <gasps> yes, we have one. Okay, I'm gonna use it. Yes, okay, all right. Uh, one six, no ones. Okay. You let off a flash and you just kind of see the room illuminated in front of you. And the two bodies that were there before, you think when you see the flash go out, as you're pointing in that general direction, that the bodies aren't there when you flash. Did... What were you trying to do there? I was I'm hoping to catch some kind of presence on the camera that we can't, like with your scanner thingy, but maybe orbs or spirits or something. But did you... When they flashed, did you see that the bodies were gone? What are you talking about? Perhaps Marla it's just the angle puts her of the flashlight light. over yeah, your boat, but you see the, the bodies light. are still there. The bodies are right there. Okay. Well, um, perhaps it was just a trick of the light. Yeah, well, you know, it's a pretty powerful flash. Yes. Uh, so, do we uh, want to... Yeah, we, we need to get back to the guys. Um, do we want to check the cold room to see? See if there's a, anybody in there? Yes. Well, you think they could possibly have been shielded if it is radiation? It's a possibility. It's a real she thick. A it's a real thick door. Well, you know, we don't know now for sure. I hope I it's mean, someone in an ice box and not a ghost or something. I should have slept on the jet, and I did. Yeah. So. All right. You let's. Know. Let's open it up. Can you roll to open it. Oh, it's cocked. It is cocked. You can't back. You got to reroll. Thank goodness. Thank God that was cocked. Two sixes, two sixes so far. Two nice. sixes. Two and sixes, no threes and five and two. Okay, so you open the door. What do you, I mean, what what, what happens here? Um, there's a, a suction sound and um, it's like, it's like when you open a refrigerator and your power has gone out so that there's a rush of cold, but mm. then behind that you smell mm. if anything in there became rotted. Um, so we get hit with that blast of like that semi-tepid cold air oh. and then a wave oh. of, of uh, body rot. Um, it's completely dark in there and all we can see is like with flashlights but we see you start to taste iron in your mouth as this hits you and the smell kind of comes in like did anyone else take do I have a nosebleed? Do you no, taste it's blood? Nah, it's just uh I, I do. What? 
Marla? Um, uh, I don't... Put yeah. It, put your head back. <clears throat> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Do we all it's, have uh, nosebleeds? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh... I, it's nothing, I'm sure. What is it? I don't know. It's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. I just, maybe it's just the traveling. And have you had another case of your nosebleed triggering? N no, I'm sure it's just the travel. Is it just Marla that has the nosebleed? Yeah, for now that you can see, yes. Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, Devin, you start to feel a trickle coming down your nose. Oh. Um, you guys are still standing in this dark room, I presume? What yeah, are you doing? Yeah. I mean, uh, the room's dark. The power's out, right? Yeah. So we're not even seeing any anything... Uh, On the screens, no. The I transfer mean, failed. Okay. Um, oh, you didn't... Did you get the uh, transfer? Uh, you, the, the light from your computer, given the yeah. battery power's kicked on, is kind of illuminating you at the yeah. moment. And you kind of notice as you put your hand on your nose and down that you've got blood on your hands. Yeah, my nose is bleeding. Mm. From travel? What's the, what's, yeah, what's the altitude uh, over here? Doesn't matter. Um, okay, you what? Uh, yeah, did, did, did the transfer complete or did it? No. Yeah, the transfer didn't complete. It's fine. That power well, we know what we saw. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, I mean, let's just hit down to the rest of the group. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's just walk down help. some more. Help me. Please. Help. Yo, did, yo, did you, yo, did, yo, yo, did you just hear that? Hear what? Somebody just said, help me. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Now, where did it come from? It almost... Like this... You hear a loud pop outside. We both do? Yeah, everyone. What Sounds like a gunshot. Okay. But it was too loud, and you hear it echo throughout the town. Wow. Um, Lorenzo, uh, hey, buddy. You see yeah, what... Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear that loud pop? Um, yes. You, yeah, you had a. It looks like you had a generator go, or not? One of your transformers on the on the pole. Oh, okay. I'm guessing there's some sort of power surge going on. Okay. Uh, the uh, power. The power is now. Yeah, the lights are off in the whole town. This this transformer's down, and it's kind of a chain reaction here. This is incredibly uh, inconvenient. Um. Wait now. Right. Who? What you're saying, someone said help. It sounded like it came from inside my head. Inside your head? Yeah, but like, not like I thought it. It's, it was a different voice. It said, help me. Hey, uh, De Devin, uh, Damien? Yeah. Yeah? Good for it. We've, uh, we're, we're going to head back to you. Um, I'm feeling a little lightheaded. Okay, we'll head back. Uh, I've got... Is anyone in your group experiencing nosebleeds? Yeah, I, I got that. We have one over here with Marla, too. Yeah, can you... Shall we meet back at the, the entrance of the hospital? What Andy, the Andy, can you make sure to do Andy, can you make sure to document all of this, all these proceedings? Of course. Uh, but what's going on? Why are you concerned? I, j I just think it's important that we document everything. Okay. All Let's right. meet back at uh, the entrance and the of order, the... In the order that they happen. Uh, I want to... While we're walking outside, I want to, Marla, I want to try um, some different readings on the spectrometer while we're walking out. Okay. So. Roll. Uh. Oh. Come one, on. two, three, four, five, six, come seven, on, eight, on. nine. You're missing. Oh, Ooh, got one six. We haven't lost the candle yet. Oh, do we have any hope? No. <laughs> Not burning something for one Whatever. dice. Whatever. I mean, can I, got, I got one six. And how many dice are you down to in your bowl now? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Iffy, when we lose a candle and we're back to nine dice, then we use your hope then. Okay. Yeah. yeah you start to use it now. hit the device and tune it a little bit. And again, you see a quick flash. And this time you see a dot directly behind where you're currently standing. Whoa, 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 I got something. What happened? 
What did you have? I got one dot right behind us. What? I put point my EMF at it. You turn and you see nothing? I don't see anything. No, it's right here. It's right here, right behind us. It's, uh... I'm not getting any readings. As you're saying that, it's right here. It's right behind us. And you turn and you start looking in that direction. You start to hear, like audibly, you can feel your head almost as if you're underwater. The sounds around you start to get muffled as Andy's voice starts to sound as if it's piercing through liquid. I don't see anything. Is. Where did you, where did you uh, as things start to like tunnel vision for you and you feel this pressure increasing oh, God. on your head. Oh, it's like, are you okay? Oh, God. She's not responding to you. What is you and Marla both are looking at her. Marla's got her flashlight on her, and she's directly kind of pointing directly at you. Roya, attack? Roya uh, she I can't hear down. any of this. I don't want to touch her in case I scare her. Oh God, she's being affected by this thing. Roya, Roya, Roya is now. Uh, you're kind of surrounded by this black. As you tunnel vision, you can't see your friends around you anymore. So you're just kind of standing in black. As you look forward, this like slight kind of shimmering figure starts to appear in your eye line. It's not something that you immediately recognize as human or someone that you know, but it starts to kind of shift and pulse as it moves. The way it moves reminds you somewhat of a feather, as if on a slight breeze, a little erratic, floating as it's also shifting its form slightly in and out. Is it coming towards me? It's getting directly up in front of you, looking at you curiously. Who are you? Uh. Help. Are you here to help? Yeah, yeah. We're here to help. Who are you? I, I, just, just someone. Help, help. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're here to help. Help, help. We're here to, we're here to help. Where am I? Where am I? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna find out for you. Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? You don't help, know? help. As the world kind of like comes clear around you again, as you feel this kind of color seeping back in in your peripheral vision, oh. as they're both standing next to you with their eyes. Are you okay? Did you, did you see it? What, did you what, see what? it? Did talk, you see talk, it? You saw it, down, right? Calm down, you saw calm it, right? Down. You saw it, right? It was right there. It was right there. What you saw it. Calm down. You have to just you saw it. You talked to me. Just no, you talked to me. You we'll, saw it, right? We'll believe you, but you have to tell us what happened. Where is it? Where to go? Where to go? We didn't see calm anything. Calm down. Calm down. Talk to me. What? <laughs> when you say it, when you say what, just calm down. Speak no, it clearly. Was, uh, describe. Uh, uh, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was a thing. It was like a being. Um. It, it was. Uh, was it, it was like, like a being or a being. It was like a being. It was a being. It. It was in front of me. It was kind of. Uh, floaty it, um, it, it was like it was made out of light and it talked to me it talked to me in English what did so it I say? could like understand it said help it said How big was it, it said what are you like what normal color? size like a normal person? size like a you know yeah give or take but it, it said um, it said what are you who am I help are you here to help oh I don't like any of that that sounds like an ancient being or an extraterrestrial. It's not an ancient being. being. It's kind of something vision. else entirely. It could be, I don't know, aliens or the something. The lights start to flicker around you as some power is surging through the building, and then you start to hear the sound of rumbling. As the lights flicker on, the screens start to quickly show you something in front of you. As this flicker starts, you see on one corner of the building, you actually see the building starting to crumble as if the foundations of the building itself are moving and being ripped apart underneath it as the sound. You start to hear this sound, this low rumble. Guys, we gotta get out of here. Can we get the hell out of here, please? Can we get the hell out of here now? Go, 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 go. Is the volcano uh, erupting? I grab Andy. Oh my <laughs> like god. The, wall, the ceiling is starting to crash down around you as panels are moving and lights are swinging in all directions and things are starting to crash around you. I need each of you to successfully roll for me as the building is coming down Plus around you. Can I roll last? Yes, you can do whatever you wish. Because if someone fails, then I want to have nine. Oh. I, I have one. Don't tell him your tricks. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay. 
Actually, Iffy should roll last as well. Like both of us. Well, should roll it's last. too late now. Uh oh. Do we have any help? No. Well. It had to happen sooner or later. Uh, as you're running, <laughs> nope. the walls start to crumble around you as the sound becomes deafening. It sounds like reality itself is crumbling. Wow. It's a deep, booming sound, and it sounds almost inverted in a way, as if the sound of this rock falling down is in fact lifting up in wow. reverse, as if it's sucking in itself as pieces of it. As you're running through, you see pieces of the building just kind of disappearing as other parts of the building start to fall. You trip and fall as you reach down to try to grab him and hook him up. A section of the building falls on both of you as you are trapped underneath this section and the th you two and Mal uh, Marla are able to run out the front of the building as you look oh. behind and as the dust and crumble oh. is settling in the dark. Oh God. Did they get out? I Devin? Don't, Damien? I don't see them. Are we conscious? Devin? Damien? You'll have to find out next week. <laughs> uh, when we come back at 6 p.m. Pacific time <gasps> next week for episode two of nice. volume six, Department <laughs> C, um, we will have only nine candles left. That was a pretty long volume. Yeah, I, will s I need to read to you right now as that candle is out. You get to turn, you killed it, so you get to turn it off. Yeah. But this is what it's gonna feel like when we get oh, down the four dice, sorry. which will happen. Yeah, read what? Okay, we have some truths Ooh. to get through. Yeah. Uh, we have some truths to get through. These will affect next week's game right when we start. Okay. Uh, that was a very long chapter tonight, it so was. I think um, you know we're gonna have some more chapters come through. But Ooh. we're gonna read through these truths really quick, and then we're gonna read through all of the people who tipped tonight. We're gonna give you a round of applause. All the people who subscribed, we appreciate you guys so much. Um, every new subscriber is giving them hope tonight. We thank you guys so much for that. Thank okay, you. so uh, character feeling. Andy is really, really missing Esma, and no one can replace her. She doesn't hate Devin because. Uh, she doesn't like to hate, but she is not taking on, not too keen on him for replacing her. Feeling, Andy feels she can trust Devin even though she only just met him a while ago. Oh, weird. Um, <laughs> uh. I'll have to communicate better. Uh, feeling, Damien doesn't trust Devin. He believes he shouldn't even be here. History, Roya, at a very un young age, was a very skilled gymnast and almost made it to the Olympic team. Awesome. Awesome. Since that first, um, the, since the first truth said that Andy is missing Esma and doesn't want, uh, I'm okay with conflicted feelings. Yeah, let's make it conflicted. Um, Damien is not happy that this nobody IT guy replacing Esma. Damien secretly had a thing for Esma, and is filled with rage every time he thinks of Devin being a replacement. I actually was going there anyway for some cool. reason. Yeah. Sage Topian said, uh, hashtag character Damien specialized in religious phenomenon. Uh, he's been distant at work ever since he worked the case of a vampire, which ran it. Nope, I'm not going <laughs> to do that. Um, I'm going to adjust that, Sage Topian. Um, I'm going to give you a case. I'll come up with a case by next week that you would have worked that fits within this world. Okay. Uh, and the images still haunt you. Esme has been your partner since then and the only one who knew of those nightmares that you both saw. So I'll write a backstory for that case that's not vampires. We'll make sure it fits within this world. I mean, she was my partner. Yeah. In work as... Okay. Yep. All right. Um, hashtag discovery. All the players find a voodoo doll of another character. Damon <gasps> finds Devin. Devin finds Andy. Roya finds Damien. Andy finds Roya. Each of the dolls affect the player in different ways. Let's find them. A uh, novel animal that's very close to a GM power because you're kind of saying they find something that changes the course of the game entirely since it can each one has a different power. So I'm going to modify that one for next week. Um, I appreciate that, but I'm going to try to come up with a way. We've already done uh, Voodoo Dolls before, and that one doesn't really work into this one. So I'm going to I'm gonna work that into this current storyline as uh, I've got an idea. And um, hit me up on Discord if you want to talk about it, and I'll tell you uh, what I'm thinking and how to adapt that. Void Smoker said, Discovery, Devin seems to have dropped his notebook. Um, fortunately, Roya finds it, but how curious is she? Ooh. Oh. So I'm going to say when you were running out, or we'll say next week in the rubble, the notebook is there, but you don't see him. All right, that's great. So 
I am going to very quickly here, guys, we're gonna give a round of applause for all the individuals who, um, who sent donations in tonight for the show. Um, you know, we've got, let's, let's start off um, with PR Fan 2002, let's just get it going. Yay. Here is Mikey, Dark Moon 854, Rex 705, Soul 810, Sage Topian, Soul 810 again, Noble Animal, Soul 810 again, and Void Smoker. Thank you guys so much Yay. for your tips. Uh, helping keep this show alive. We couldn't do it without you, and I, I mean that wholeheartedly. You guys directly fund this show in its existence. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to give uh, a big thumbs up and hell yeah. Um, to all the individuals who subbed and resubbed during this show. Um, if you guys are ready to do so, we've got Haywood, Ronian4, Lucid Attorney, oh, yeah. Kilk Egard, Logan Pars, Apple Knees. Yeah. Um, some of these are gifted subs to It's Pandar. Yay. Someone gifted Aren't We Clever a sub. That's great. Okay. Cordron <laughs> uh, Plays, Shadow Uzumaki gave one to Motor Liquor, Karanor, Shale2001, Disponia. Eternal Hex, Gerite, yeah. Ironhide JB, Meowser Cat, uh, <laughs> Lucid Eternity gave one to Cobra Striker, um, Lucid Eternity also gave one to Taekwon Doug, Spree Bits, <laughs> Quasi 79 FU gave one to Atamius, um, C Eskery, PR Fan 2001 gave one to PS2 NIC, Enigmatic Gear, um, Yes. Runer 302 oh, yeah. and Metis Fodum. You guys are all fucking amazing. Thank Hell you so much. You for those. Do. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next on Hyper RPG, the best channel on Twitch, the one that is pushing the format further than anyone else. I can promise you that. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Dungeons and Well, it's not Dungeons and Dragons anymore. We are now doing Goblin Quest, which is oh. a crazy RPG. Um, guys, is Cucumber GMing? Cucumber is jamming. Now, if you don't know what? Cucumber, Cucumber is a puppet. This is a RPG show with puppets on it. You, It's amazing. You're going to want to stick around. It's going to be hilarious. Goblins. Don't go anywhere. They're going to be playing goblins. Puppets. Goblins. puppets. It's going to be a ton of fun. We went a little late, so we got to get out of here. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back next week at 6 p.m. Bye.